And now, another episode of Crit Camp Gaming. That's right, TikTok goes the clock, Lyle. TikTok. TikTok goes the clock as today we will be implementing implementing chess clocks. That's right. It's our first dual Keyforge stream post PAX Unplugged. Lyle was here. We had discussions. We ran tests. We did science. We ran it through the Crit Lab. We discussed after our experience at PAX Unplugged Sealed Vault Tour event um, mm-hmm, that we both right. got to enjoy. Uh, we both played nine hours of Sealed Keyforge that day uh, in one Sealed Vault Tour event which was ridiculous and yep. um change needs to be made lyle i'm calling for change we need to be the change okay so i don't i i don't want to poo poo the whole thing um because it went so long i mean i did have a good time <laughs> so i want to say that had a good that, time yeah like the Voltor is cool um i think um my Voltor experience at indianapolis was was better than my Voltor experience at pax because at PAX, I was just so distracted, and there were so many other things that I wanted to be involved in, right, at the same time. Mm-hmm. And so when you spend a lot of time at a con doing a tournament, uh, you know, I think, I believe a lot of people have said this to us before, particularly Sensei, uh, Sensei uh, Matt, uh, about being in an L5R tournament that we made fun of him for years <laughs> about. Uh, it's just hard to divide your time. That being said, um, you know, nine hours is a long time uh, to be at a, at a single sealed. And so I think the biggest hang up that we've had, even though we've we had a, a good time, we had a good time playing with the community, with a bunch of people. We met a lot of really cool people. We played a lot of cool games, um, but it, everything was just taking way too long. So the games themselves, the waiting time between the games, um, you know, getting set up, all of that stuff, everything just felt like it was taking way too long. And because of that, Chris and I, when we were together at IRL, ended up having this huge talk, which Chris put on Discord, and it seemed to light some fires with you guys, too, um, about implementing some sort of timing strategy for com- for competitive. Now, remember, we were saying that when you're playing casual, you're playing with your friends, you don't always have to do this, but in a in a more competitive environment like a vault tour, uh, you know, Chris was like, what if, what if we started using chess clocks? And I know that we've done a chess clock thing before on stream, but we actually did a little bit more science on it. Chris downloaded an app. We took it to a brewery and, yeah. uh, and we tested it out. And so you want to talk about a little bit more about what, what you were, you were thinking on that, Chris, or how we did it, or I, I can, if you're eating, <laughs> um, no, I don't talk about it. I mean, that's basically, yeah, I talked about it on my solo. I did a solo thing after you went back last week and was just talking about like, no poo poo on the vault tour at all. I even said this on Thursday last week. It was great. It was run great. 45 minutes has been standard. We've been playing that way for three years now in, in Keyforge or two years or however long two, we've been playing Keyforge. Yeah, a little over two years, I think. Yeah. Two years. So I get it. It's laid out. Um, yeah. We don't need to get deeper into it. But no, my thing was like experience was great. Had fun. Everybody understood. It's a shared 45 minutes. That's just the yep. standard rules. It's been that way forever. But the problem yep. being the poor, like my ultimate thing, hashtag, and the most important thing about I think about any game um, out there, whether it's digital or a card game or a board game, is player experience. Yep, player and experience. And the yep. player experience. And yes, this is putting aside the fact that other people have told us that like tournaments, it's 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 recommended that we don't play at tournaments. You don't play tournaments at conventions. Yeah. Um, that's come from like you said, Matt. Um, I've seen other people even in our community saying like, yeah, tournaments at conventions. If, unless you're there for the tournament, you're going to really yep. kind of regret it, possibly, if you do well. <laughs> yeah. Or or you're going to waste some time. So my thing was, it's kind of based on that. So it's a little biased because we were at a tournament, and the only Voltor yeah, I played sure, at sure, it sure. was at a, a convention. So no poo-poo on that. It would run well. Thing is, the player experience is, I've had this happening since pre-Coda, that people yep. have been utilizing the clock as a resource, which is fine because it's in the rules. It's part of the rules. You can't, if it's a rule, if it's there, it's implemented, everyone's doing it. Everybody has the right to share that 45 minutes. Now, because it's a shared 45 minutes, I feel other people uh, use that um, a little bit more, I don't know, uh, uh, what would you say, like, not, I can't think of the word. They, they yeah, well, use, well, well, yeah, I was going to say, they, 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 use it, they use it as a resource, right? They use it too and, much and as a resource, though. They use it too that much as a resource. That breaks the game. Yeah, and, they're, it, and they're capitalizing on it. They're so. capitalizing it and ruining the player experience. They, it, so yeah. if we're playing a 45-minute game, and we've done it on here, and we give each other crap, you know, we, oh, totally. we josh yeah, each yeah. other all the time. Like, oh, wow, <laughs> took 35 minutes to play his freaking turns, and I was ready because I was playing a faster deck or something. But like, Yeah, totally. But like, if that happens at a tournament, especially a vault tour at a high-level event, 
you know, what? You know, like, what? This experience is just bad. I'm saying, I'm not saying it's against the rules unless you call over a judge because the guy is literally just running the clock outright. But one, I think a first a foremost player experience just, I think, declines dramatically. Um, yep. Two, the games don't need to be 45 minutes in total if you're at a competitive level event. Um, so my thing was the other and the other thing was when when time runs out on a shared clock, um, you go to all these weird tiebreakers. And that's been that's been the other concern. The tiebreakers have always felt bad. Yeah. Tiebreakers have always always felt bad. Everybody's been one. against them. They've always yeah. felt bad, which in turn is bad player experience. If I go to time yeah. either at Chainbound, Vault Tour, anything, it feels bad. And now I'm yeah. like, all right, what's the tiebreaker? And then that yeah. guy, I think you remember this. I mentioned this when we were at TwitchCon pre-Coda, the, yep. one of the first matches we ever played. The dude took me to time, understanding there was a clock. And they laid yep. out what the tiebreakers were then, and the dude did it to me. Like one of our yep. first times playing Keyforge. And I was like, whoa, that felt bad. And it did. Yep. It felt bad. Yep. And that was over two years ago. So yep. it's still happening. It's happened to it, you at a Vault yeah, Tour. It's, it's happened or yeah, a Prime. It's still or happening. You had a, you had a really slow opponent first at this vault tour at this vault tour that, yeah. that kind of put you on a in, a in a weird headspace because it wasn't cool i had an Not opponent fun. i had an opponent at um when i played at the louisville primes that took me to time um as well and at the and i was that was my first competitive event ever right like it, and so i wasn't really and it was one of my first matches so i wasn't really in the headspace of thinking about looking at the clock and all that stuff i was just in my turn you're playing a game and we were playing both very like stally decks um and then i saw him like sort of just like fidgeting right like just like fidgeting and i was just like okay and so i'm taking my turn and i'm trying to do it pretty quickly because i don't want to waste time for either of us right and then as soon as i finished like his uh, his turn started, and then the judge called time. He had his turn, and then that was it, right? And he, and he went first, too. So he got an extra turn on me. And then basically him and his teammate who was watching the t uh, watching the match at the end was basically like, oh, yeah, you shouldn't have ended your turn. You should have just stalled out your turn. And I'm like, why? And he was like, well, then it would it would have went to time or whatever, blah, blah, blah. You might have had a chance. And I was like, I'm not going to – I understand it's a strategy, but I just think those tiebreaker rules are – terrible yeah um. <laughs> and like all for one saying creative use of game rules to gain an advantage yeah. and that's exactly it well i mean you're exactly right i heard that at this vault tour i mentioned it briefly that i wasn't in my game next to me a dude conceded because he knew the clock was going to run out and he was like oh, yeah right, i just concede right. it turns out same thing happened to him kind of like yours that the judge came over and said dude why did you concede he said well the clock had like a couple seconds left so i figured the game he's like you could have won if you'd played the clock and i was like yeah what i was like yeah, I no know. it just doesn't it we don't it play key forge right. to run the clock we don't play key yeah. forge to play the clock that's not the game that's not the game yeah. that shouldn't be the game that feels bad i don't play yeah. key forge to play clocks right that's stupid come on yeah like uh which is funny that we're saying this now because we're thinking we're, we're, we're saying we're going to implement a new clock <laughs> and and play to that other clock but 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 the idea of the of the chess clocks thing here is you will never have to be in that position again Right. You will never have to be in that tiebreaker no. position. No. If you each have your own time, right, 20 minutes or 25 minutes, whatever it is, right, that you each get. If you run out of your clock, you auto lose. Mm -hmm. But That's if it. you can finish the game within your clocks, then you, you finish the game. And nobody feels bad because you finished the game and somebody forged three keys. Right. Um, and so if you are the type of player that takes forever, um, you know what I mean? It's like you can take all the time you can, but make sure that you can finish the game in that time. Yeah, right? you can't. That's on and you, so, dude. And so when you're playing a competitive environment, this lets it – the games go much, much smoother, much faster, I think. And it also – you know, if you're a faster player, you know, you, you get a little bit of advantage there because now you can milk the clock um, on turns that you really need to think about it. Right. Sure. You can oh, ice your so. player in your 20. So, so exactly. Lyle just laid out oh, the rules. Oh, great. It's Asmati Games. Yeah, Asmati, one us, of the big advocates. Crap all through the nine hours that we were playing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Welcome to crappy CCG scenes. Yeah, I think it's in a yeah. lot of scenes. I think, but I mean, you see these other games, dude. You watch some of the Magic guys play. They play yeah. fast because they've got a lot of stuff they got to do. They're playing so much stuff and they understand that. And they have, I don't know what the time is for that. I you know, haven't gone competitive Magic, but... I know those guys. I see them play. They play super fast. And I'm sure this happens there too, right? People use it as a resource, right. et cetera, et cetera. People did it in Hearthstone to us. Use time oh, yeah, as a resource. Yeah, yeah. They, they rope roped, you. They roped. Yeah, um, they roped. Which was awful. It felt bad. It was a bad player experience. Everyone knows it. Um, yep. So that's exactly it. What Lyle just laid out there was you run out of time in the clocking rules. 
you're done. That's it. That's it. You had 25 minutes. Dude, if you want to sit and ice me for 20 minutes, cool. It's boring. I'm not happy, but I still have 25 minutes. <laughs> like, yeah. if, if I sit there and go, cool, if you can beat me in five minutes, like, I'm playing my turn, go. And if they're like, ah, 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 go, they're going to misplay. Yeah. They're going to misplay. I mean, like, yeah. that's you, dude. That's you. Yeah. So, and, and like, you know, I went into it before. We had a big conversation on Discord about it. People saying FFG is not going to invest in chess clocks. Um, yeah. People well, maybe being discouraged to enter competitive events because they're new players. The, well, my the thing response, is, like, you can always play in casual. You can always play in yeah. your local scene. Yeah. You can play store. You can set, and the, the tournament rules in your own store can set whether you're using the competitive clocks or you're keeping in the casual right. uh, shared clock, right? And so it's it, the idea being that if you are at a point where you're going to go to a vault tour, like, you know that you're entering a different level of play. And so part of that is... You know, letting yourself know, hey, okay, now I'm going to go into the chess clock rules. You know, as I think, I think if the expectation is is set early and people know what they're getting into, then you can choose whether you want to do that or not. Not to say that you couldn't have, you know, a couple levels of vault tour where one is more competitive than the other, right? One has chess clock rules, one doesn't. Um, Asmati is bringing up a, a good point that Magic doesn't have um, chess clocks because. Um, okay, there's so many things that you can do yeah. on other people's turns, yeah. right? And so, so you are now stealing time from another person by doing instants and all this other and interrupts and all that other stuff. But um, you know, the, another reason, and we don't know what's 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 in the sort of roadmap for Keyforge, but um, another reason why they're not implementing clocks now is, would, do you think Keyforge is ever going to implement something where you're doing stuff on other people's turns? They could. I mean, that you would change do everything. somewhat, but it's not interrupt, yeah. right? Like, I might have an yeah. artifact out that triggers when you do something, right? Like, yeah. that's kind of interrupt, but that's on you during your active player. So this, this works for Keyforge. This works because yeah. as the active player, you're making the decisions. Yeah. I, as the unactive player, do not get to decide, okay, if you reap with that creature, he's getting purged or destroyed. Yeah. That's not my choice. You're the active player. You, you tell, you yep. do it. You, that's in your time. Right. Yeah. So you better as a player account for the board state as the active yeah. player. That's just yep. key forge rules, which applies yeah, to the thing here. Um, yeah. And what I do agree with, yeah, with Marty that like that's just an example that this yeah, does, I think, work for key forge. And like you said, if it's clarified that the rules. So what what Lyle I started saying was like, right, you, you can have two sets. So you have the classic current tiebreaker timing is what it could be called or something like that. Classic yeah. timing rules. For chain bounds, casual events, you could do it for side pods. You could do it for yeah. whatever at the at the event and just say classic timing rule sealed. Uh, yep. You know, forty five minute shared timer. If you want to use the clock as a resource, then now it's a valid strategy that someone is like, I'm going to play the forty five minute timer, and people go into it going, all right, I got to use time as a resource. It's just another level of strategy. Fine, it's understood that that can happen, right? Yep. Um, and they can set up rules for that. But if it's if it's clarified that like this is a vault tour, it's sealed, you know, competitive clocked rules like chess clock rules. OK, right. we both get 25 minutes per person. I run out of yep. time. Game over. You win. Boom. Yep. Oh, what up? 980 Raptors. I'm glad I made the stream. Classic Yo, timer rules, also known as the dumpster fire. <laughs> right. Yeah. But but the thing is, you know, let's say is joins or goes to his event and he sees that event with that posted timing rules as a player doesn't like that. Fine. Don't play that way. But you and I run into players that maybe enjoy playing that way. Yep. Fine. Maybe your deck lends itself to that way. Fine. Yeah. Like, great. But yeah. the fact that you can set it up. I mean, when Lyle and I did our testing and we were blowing through games, we were basically averaging like 15 to 20 minutes total. Like, you know, or maybe, you know, 20, 25 it was like minutes. 25 minutes was yeah, the most. I total. Think. But yeah. we never ran out of time. We never, like one game, you and I were like kind of going casual and like you got really low on time or something. But... Yeah. It didn't take 45 minutes. I think I still had 15 plus minutes left. You and I think have... I still had like so a couple minutes. If left, we think yeah. about that, the game was, you know, you know, met the most 40 minutes because the game just took a long time. But most of the games, 15 to 25 minutes. Like that's yeah. it. Not 45 minutes of sitting yeah. around nine and hours we were popping of decks too. And we were you know, doing sealed stuff. We did it yeah. with Archon. So today that's exactly our point. So our thing is we're sort of sort of going to start putting our foot down. And when we stream Keyforge together, you can't do this on Crucible Online, obviously, unless you really set it up. Right. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. And everyone's saying if, if, if this kind of thing is going to be pushed by the community and players and stuff that they better figure out their timing thing before vault warrior happens, because oh, yeah. all yeah. for one saying if 2.5 K is on the line, you don't want to lose on time. Exactly. Could you imagine you're, uh... 
Oh, they're going to town um, in your I'm head. sorry if everyone can hear this <laughs> background noise. It just sounds, sounds like someone's plugging in an electric guitar. He's just about yeah. to rock out yeah, in your like, attic, He's about dude. to, like, feed back. That was about to rock. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, no, but uh, but yeah, I'm apologize for the for the noise in the back. Um, I got guys here um, uh, re-insulating my attic, and they're doing it with uh, blown insulation. So there's like a hose that's being like, yeah, it's good stuff. Yeah, dude. <laughs> it's just making new beds for all the raccoons to come and sleep in again, right? <laughs> it's gonna be nice and cozy. They're gonna be like, thank you. <laughs> too soon, dude. Too soon. Um, yeah. Yeah. But but I am I'm 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 under warranty, so if it happens, they're gonna redo everything. So <laughs> kick them out again. Um but yeah, so that's basically it, guys. I mean, we laid it out there. I talked about it last week. Excuse you, dude. Dang. <laughs> yeah. Blown in insulation. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what did oh, you have for oh, breakfast? Hold on, you... hold on. <laughs> oh, oh, disgusting, Lyle. Jeez. Why don't you see yourself out? Yeah, open the door. Act like nothing's that. He's gonna. You're gonna do the casual wave. Woo! Someone. Woo! <laughs> Who's out there? Okay. Yeah, it looks like they're done in that attic space. I have a separate attic space that they're gonna go to now. Uh, but they were just. Yeah. They're pull, They're. They're pulling out the hose. It's a long. <laughs> that's a long con, dude. You're long con on the passing of the gas. It's good. I like it. Yeah. Live the lie, Lyle. But um. Yeah. yeah. So that basically lays out our point that we think it's important that. Um, clocking be changed up or this be imp- I, I mean I, I just want to say that I, I think we should really start pushing as a community and that FFG or, or people should you know listen to that I think they should listen to players I mean we had Justice Blind that jumped in from team, team SAS saying they've been talking about this for a long time yeah um, within the competitive scene so come on man like it's about player experience first and foremost and we think yep. this lends itself to that goal that yep. improved player experience you know, is improved interest in a game, much better time, much better yeah. time. Um, so we recommend trying it, doing it. I downloaded, like Lyle said, in person, I downloaded like, I can even tell you guys the app. The app I got was called Chess Clock, no space, just from Thing. <laughs> um, it's real simple, like it's free. You can pay for other features and stuff, but this is it. We were using 25 minutes each um, for every yeah. game just to sort of test it, was, it out. It was great. It was great because it's like, you put it next to the, you put it next to the mat in the center, you tap your like your side starts clicking down on, on time. You tap your side and it automatically stops yeah. yours and then starts. It's like like a regular chess yeah. clock. It's like super easy. It's super easy. It's free. It's a clock. It only steals all your data ten percent of the time. Right. So you're gonna get you're gonna get all yeah. kinds of clock ads or something. Yeah. <laughs> hey hey hey! It only steals data nine percent of the time. Yeah. Okay. But um. <laughs> Yeah, so all for one made a funny joke too. Uh, you know, I don't want. I, I want to say like keep it as simple as possible. Keep the timing rules as simple as possible. Yeah, it's check clock chess clock by chess dot com. It is like the first thing that comes up on the app store, right there. Je- chess clock by chess dot com. This thing works nice. great. It's amazing. You yeah. can set uh, customized time limits. And Give me just, one second. I'll be. I'll be right back. Okay, and you can put it between each other. Um, but yeah, uh, all for one was saying uh, uh, petition to start uh, changing chains to uh, minutes on the clock being reduced. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. That'd be pretty funny. But that's our that's our thing. That's what we're pushing. This is our new thing. So today we're going to start doing it. And from here on out, when we're playing uh, on Tabletop Sim with that, whether it's with each other, whether it's with special guests, stuff like that, we're going to implement the chess clock. I just think it's important and uh, I think the game needs it. I think it's uh, pretty awesome. Um, we just got to have to like kind of suss out some like that. There's always going to be little rules, right? That we're going to run into um, that are going to be like, okay, when does the first player's turn start? You know, uh, you know, is it okay to pause the clock when a judge ruling needs to happen? And if that's abused, you know, if someone's pausing the clock all the time for judge rulings as an abusement of pausing the clock for more time to think stuff like that, what are the penalties for that? Um, these are like, but I, to me, I think those are small intricacies in this idea that um that could easily be overcome um you know because it's ridiculous someone's calling the judge over four times in a game just to buy time because their deck is slow and they don't know what Mm -hmm. to do right like i'm just gonna be like judge if he calls you again like come on like this is getting ridiculous he's not ready for this he needs to be penalized or something um (laughs) the all for one says i need a physical one with a dramatic click sound at the end of your time yeah (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) clock runs out just big a big horn goes off i'd love that um, but yeah, we, we, we say, uh, try it, try it with your friends, try it in your community, try it at your events at your FLGS, uh, play it, play with it online, discuss it, uh, discuss with us in the discord or in chat today on Twitter, that kind of thing as we work out little, in, uh, details. Um, and, uh, to do so, 
what we're going to do is we're going to start, we're going to play the decks we played to win our own tournament at our meetup before Twitch or PAX this yeah. year. That's right. That's so right. I was the grand champion with this yeah, deck. And I, was, I was the winner of the, of the loser's bracket. Yeah. And here's, here's the second winners. <laughs> Yeah. This is just as blinded uh, next to between Lyle and I right there. That's just as blinded when the two player mat of the losers bracket. And you've got Justin um, from Tabletop Royale sitting there with his Robocop shirt on uh, who took the winner's bracket win. Actually, he got second <laughs> Yeah, because I literally skunked him and left him with no amber and no keys. But he still took the five year mat uh, contributed yeah. and, by uh, and, Finding and, People. And the, um, he was my he was my only loss of, of this tournament. And it was a, it was BS, dude. <laughs> no, it was good. <laughs> no, it was a good time. And we appreciate seeing everyone there. Um, Garrett, you know, all, everyone that showed up for the tournament and played uh, was, was a great time. So congratulations to them. But uh, we won our own tournament. So, but Lyle and I, because Lyle was the champion of the loser's bracket and I was the champion of the winner's bracket, we never played each other. We never played each other. Yeah. So maybe it would have gone differently because Keyforge. <laughs> basically yeah, yeah. because Keyforge. Yeah. Uh, but I gotta say, game. man, I, I, like I, I blew all of my luck, all of my keyboards magic, apparently at our own event, because by the time I got to the vault or the next day, I was like, Ooh. wow, I've got three horrible decks to choose from. <laughs> <laughs> and now I've played a, a few games with each of the decks right. that I brought all of them terrible. So, <laughs> Sad. I, so I thought I made a, a, a terrible choice. It sounds like I made a terrible choice amongst terrible choices, um, <laughs> and I just can't win with those decks. Uh, so, so there you go. So it wasn't it wasn't meant for me right. to win because it was meant for me to be a winner of our losers bracket. The winner of the losers, Lyle. You yeah. were meant to just go zero and five because of the winner of the losers, dude. You're supposed to represent the losers bracket. Um, yeah, I'm supposed the, to represent the losers. You're the losers bracket. champion. You're the people's yeah. champion, dude. You're the I'm people's the, champion. I'm the people's champion. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. I'm going to get, I'm going to get, uh, people are going to email in and, and vote me in fan favorite, right? Like yeah. I don't, I don't belong yeah. on stage, but people right. pushed me on stage. <laughs> right. And I'm like, Oh no, no, thank you. I like everyone I knows you have no talent and you shouldn't be there, but yeah. you're still there because, because they, they left it up to a social media vote. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And the internet is the worst place in the world, so they all voted in the worst. So they all voted me in, and I'm just like, I don't, I don't belong here, but I'm here. Great, thank you so much. It's I called the thank ultimate troll. You know, that's awesome. That's awesome. So that's what we're going to use today, guys, to to try this out, and we're going to show you how to bring a clock in and tabletop sim, um, and all that stuff. If you're not familiar how to do that, um, and uh, we'll do that. But before we do that, here's the promo. Don't forget to join us next week for the 2019 Christmas special. Woo! Ooh. Right. It's gonna be great. That'll be, that'll be Thursday night. Christmas. Yeah, Thursday, December twenty sixth, the night um, of that day after Christmas. While Casey will be here, we'll be playing some games with Chad. I think some Just One. Um, we were talking about doing some uh, Crokinole RL. Uh, Ooh, we'll see how yep. that goes down. It's just gonna be kind of a fun games night. Um, there may be some Key Forge involved at some point with Lyle and I. Um, yep. You know, it just depends on what we have time for and what we're feeling uh, the day after Christmas. Yeah, you know? exactly. So exactly. And, and, you, and you know how it is. I mean. Me, me and Chris play IRL two times a year, um, and so <laughs> that time passes. Yeah, it's, it's like Thanksgiving yeah. and uh, or it's like Pax time <laughs> and uh, and Christmas. And uh, that's right. Get your get your get your yeah. Christmas Go to shirt. You can get your very um, Christmas shirt right now. It's right. Get it. You can get, get it as a it sweatshirt. On you can get it as a long sleeve shirt. You can get it in different colors. But there yep. you go. Yeah, you guys can go get your Merry Christmas shirts. It's time of year, so go get it yeah. now. Go get it now. Um, uh, Garrett says, uh, just one looked, uh, really cool. It's fun. Uh, yeah, no, it, I, I bought it, um, under recommendation from Chris. So I'm going to, I'm going to bust it out with, uh, with my family, um, over the holidays and hopefully they, they really enjoy it. Um, and if they like it, I'm going to leave it with them and buy my own copy. Um, nice. so I'm, I'm really pumped to play that. Um, it was cool because, um, Garrett and I, and a bunch of other people were playing. Oh, thank you so much for the bits, Bug and Who. Thank you, Bug and Who. Um, we were playing, um, really cool. and I was teaching medium on on one side of the table. Uh, Chris was teaching just one on the other side of the table. So me and Chris didn't actually play, didn't play games together. We were teaching a lot of games uh, over over packs. So that that was cool. I also want to thank Garrett who uh, taught me how to play. I think I mentioned it before. Play uh, taught me how to play Tiny Towns um, after our Key Forge uh, tournament was over at the loss. So thank you so much for bringing that and um, had a fun had a lot of fun teaching you guys how to play Cryptid too artistic okay do you want to throw your link up in the chat for your deck lyle so i can get it uh going here? oh yeah yeah yeah. Hold um on. so yeah we're gonna get into this yeah it was a good time at pax guys so these are the pack stacks we'll kind of mess with these if these are kind of boring battling each other we may play a couple other things because hopefully we'll be able to play through a lot more games for you guys on air so everybody wins everybody wins 
Yep. Oh, it's that card game again. Dude, actually, we haven't played on air. I mean, I played it solo last week, um, so don't even. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> I played it solo last week, uh, and uh, I played Keyforge solo last week because Lyle was flying back to Nashville. Since then, we've played Funkoverse. Um, we played uh, Quacks of Quedlinburg with Lyle. Um, yep. We've been playing all kinds of other uh, board games and stuff like that. Uh, tomorrow, I'm actually thinking... Um, you know, we need to get back in the Zombicide vibe. We haven't done Zombicide yep. in actually a long time. Um, yep. But uh, there's a digital game called Armello that a bunch of you guys recommended we play in the community. There's a few of you that were like, play, you should play Armello. And at PAX, even at the panel, someone was asking questions in regards to Armello. Um, you know, I, I played oh, yeah, like right. the yeah. very first, I, I installed it and played the very first portion. There's like a five part tutorial for the game. Um, yeah. And it looks interesting. It looks curious. Uh, it's multiplayer, so we can play it together. Lyle's got a copy. Um, I don't know. If you guys want us to play that, we will start it. It's uh, it's interesting. I know a lot of people have played it, and it's got this board game, dice rolling. I thought it was kind of like, there's <laughs> okay. a lot of stuff going on with it, and it's mm-hmm. just like an adventure game. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I'm not really sold on it yet. Like, I'm not. But okay. if we should play it tomorrow, maybe we'll give it a try for you guys as something different and new, um, as you guys want to see new stuff. Um, haven't even mentioned Zombicide since before Thanksgiving. Yeah, I know. And the other, the newest Zombicide Kickstarter just closed up, I believe, or it closes today or something. So we've dodged that bullet, Lyle. We're not, we're not getting in on the Living Dead, Night of the Living Dead Kickstarter. No. It's, we're done. It, you know what? We, we looked at it really quickly, and it was more on, like, that IP, you know, trying to capitalize on, I guess, some Zombicide rules and whatever, resources. <laughs> yeah. Um, so it, it, it looked more of like a Night of the Living Dead game um, rather that's using Zombicide stuff rather than a Zombicide game that's that's being, you know. It, yeah, it, it looks it, cool. It, it looks like a kind of like um, a horde mode meets uh, tower defense, but tower very themed off Night of the Living thing. Dead with Zombicide mechanics, which looked cool. Yeah. Um, but we just dumped all our Zombicide money into another version of modern Zombicide. <laughs> so yeah. like we so broke right now it ain't crazy <laughs> yeah it ain't even it's so broke it ain't crazy it's gone beyond crazy and back to sane uh yeah. so there's that thing so today like i said we're gonna be playing our pax decks um i haven't played it in a while i only played it at pax i haven't played it since i, so only, it's, I only played mine at pax yeah so. so it's got sort of a sealed feel to it for the tests of yep. this clock so here's i'll be playing miss green through kill patrick i'm not gonna go through yeah, the desk it's uh, the luck of the irish over here yeah the luck of the irish this is the deck i pulled Miss green thumb kill patch it is not a world's collide deck we did not do a world's collide sealed at the meetup these are aoa decks actually so yeah. you're gonna see some classics some classic yeah, these cards are some classics and i know that we have purple borders everywhere but but, but imagine them blue yeah imagine them blue but it doesn't matter it doesn't matter because the game all works together um so there's the deck i'll be playing and then we've got lyle's deck rossi from yeah, friends rossi the artistic yeah, that's right bob uh come bob on rossi the artistic bob rossi the artistic oh that's Lyle's last thing yeah. boom rossi the art rossi rossi the artistic so lyle yeah. will be rocking rossi. a Lo- logo shadows untamed deck and then i'm rocking a brobnar shadows untamed deck so okay. we're going some shadows untamed shadows untamed brobs versus the logos yeah brobs versus logos in the in a in a classic matchup <laughs> yeah so so we're gonna get into the gameplay guys and uh but before while we set up the game here we'll jump we'll jump over here whoa whoa, whoa. so we're jumping over here so everyone's gonna be kind of like man how do i how do i set up my clock i've got the tabletop sim mod you know a lot of people aren't too familiar with that but how do i do it yep. well you're gonna open your tabletop sim you're gonna see all these buttons let me remember myself you go to objects I believe you yep. go to components. Components, I believe. And then in tools. And yep, wasn't and there, the... or did we have to download a chess clock thing? Because we did this before. Was it under custom? No. Here's here's us trying to find it now. We, did do, uh, we did do a Where'd clock once. Yeah. There or did was we have a... to subscribe to a clock? No, we did, we did add one. I mean, that's a clock. That's, that's a just, clock. That's just a digital clock. Yeah. It wasn't the counter. Where'd it go? Here's us trying to be smart and nice with tabletop sim. Um, I think. Oh yeah, we we it's a do a timer. I can right click this and, and set a timer. We have to do it in seconds, so I think it's like if we want to do. Is this what we use last time? Twelve hundred is. I believe I thought we pulled in a chess clock from somewhere. Did we not? So basically, yeah, you click it to start it, and then you click it to stop it. And I think we what we did was... We did two? Is this what we did? 
I mean, this would this would be an easy way to do it from what you get from tabletop sim. Wait, oh, oh, I can't pull. How come I can't pull elements out of the chess mod? I'm trying to pull elements out of the chess mod, but there must not be a chess clock in here. Uh, um, well, how could there not be a chess clock in the chess mod? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let's go chess clock. I mean, I think you're right. I think what we did last time was exactly what you're doing there. Um, oh, no. The clocks are going. Yeah, you stop. need to stop them. Stop. So set them at 25 if you can. Uh, 25. So okay. with, with Tabletop Simulator, people you can pull almost anything in. And I'm going to see if anyone has created a chess clock that's viable for Tabletop Sim. I should have done this before, but I threw this... I decided to do this last minute. <laughs> um... <laughs> You can create your own uh, original games, import stuff. Uh, okay, here's one. Chess clock by graphics. Uh, I'm going to see if I can just grab it. Uh, I'm going to have to log into Steam. Hold on, guys. Apologies yeah. right, for so the... I, I, match, I match these clocks to our to our player colors. All right, you might not need to do that because I think okay. uh, I've got I'm going to set here. this up over here just in case as a backup. It's probably a good idea. Oh, I have to do my authenticator because this is Steam. Sorry, guys. You're going to have to sit here. hope everything's good. There's two decent-looking ones. I, I think I'm going to try this big one. If you want to post up a link for one you think uh, is pretty cool. Uh, and I think I just got that in-camera frame. Oh, shoot. Right when I started yeah. taping that thing, it, it changed it on me. Stavator, if you, if you think there's a better one out there that we could try out or you used, that was one of them. Okay, cool. Yeah, let me let me just subscribe to this, and then I should be able Oops. to add it in. I went the other way. That's it. All right, chess clock by graphics. All right, so I'm gonna go to games. Um, looks like it hasn't popped up. What if I go to workshop? Uh, uh graphics right there. Chess clock by graphics right next to Keyforge. Create your own deck. Oh, it's on the other. Oh, you're you're opposite me. <laughs> oh. So I'm gonna go additive expand. I believe I can do. Ah, here we go. Hmm. Mm. How do I load this in without breaking? So it actually is its own clock. I don't know if we can bring this in. Additive load? Do I dare try? Do Do you dare? I don't know what additive load means. I don't know what that does. Where's Sky Jedi? The one I, I got to. Yeah, here's the graphics one. I'm about to, because ex oh I can God. expand it, and this is how you can pull pieces out. But here, he's actually built the clock like this. So he used two digital clocks like we're using. Yep. And then built them into a box. I see. Um, so let's just do it our way. <laughs> that was a waste <laughs> of time. Sorry, guys. So we'll... Thank you, thank you. Thank you for the waste of time. So basically... Um, can we see those on stream? Yeah. Okay, we can see them on stream. Okay. Um, I just need to be able to hit it. I would rather it be like on the line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. Uh, so we'll go like that. So we'll just pop these in. It's like we're explorers. Okay. So that, yeah. Remember, so, you have to hit your clock and the other person's clock. Yeah, person. so tabletop sim is going to be a little funky. Um, yeah. With the app on the phone, it, like, starts the other person, so it's way easier. This way, we're going to have to, like, bop, bop, which yeah. is kind of annoying. But for now, this yeah. is what we're going to do. We'll try to work something else out later on. That's probably better. Yeah. And if you um, guys discover one, let us know. Yeah. And so, of course, we're going to be playing with the clocks. There will be points in in, in game because we're streaming it and we're, and we're doing a show that we might pause both clocks and talk to you guys or something. Well, like, yeah, if we have to do something, <laughs> yeah. we'll do We have to do something, or if I have to do, like, a bio break, or I have to talk to some guys working at my house, that'll happen, but no, this dude, will this give is a tournament you a good rules. feel about how, how tournament we're rules, using dude. the clocks. Tournament rules. You can't stand up and go talk to the guys in your house. Tournament. You have to tell them you're, you're, you're part of a tournament right now. You should be like, I'm busy. <laughs> I'm busy. Yeah, I'm sorry. Sorry, guys. This is the way it is. Yeah. This is the way. Yeah, this is the way. I'm going to be like, okay, well, you're paying us hourly anyway. I'll be like, well. They'll um, be like, yeah, okay. this is the way. <laughs> and you're going to be like, <laughs> <Yeah>. damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they they immediately turn around and say, this is the way. And I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Our, our chess clock coming to Keyforge. That's what we want, Saluk. So, so we did a big intro talking about that we're big advocates. Oh. oh. So it looks like I'll potentially a, be going first a, if Lyle uh, can't beat a six. What a baby, what a baby roll, dude. Or is it just for Crit Forge? No. Oh, wow. Oh. This is, I mean, this is pure Crit Camp right Two. here. Two. That's right. So Chris will be going pure first. Pure Crit Camp. No. So just to be clear, Saluk, what we're doing is we're being the change. This is the way. That's right, Garrett. Yeah, this so, is the way. So we're, we're being the change that we think chess clocks in clocking should be implemented in competitive matches for, for Key Forge and just in terms of better player experience all around. 
So they have not announced it. It is not an official thing that they're starting to do. We are just going to start doing it, testing it, showing it off, um, and just make it better so that hopefully more people will try it out and enjoy it so that games don't have to take 45 minutes and use time as a resource and abuse the current rule system and just forego all the like kind of not so great tiebreaker rules. Yeah. That's basically it. That's it. Yeah. Let us know your opinion on Salak. What do you think? Um, it's good to see you, bud. Uh, so yeah. I'll be going first. Also, no spoilers on the Mandalorian because I haven't started it yet. I don't have Disney Plus. Wow. This is the way. I will get Disney Plus and then I will binge all of it when it's all available. This is the way. Um, yeah, and that, will, that will be my way. That will be my ninja way. Okay, so so I'm this clock, so we're going to have to be going here. So what we've been saying, guys, is in Sealed that we were saying 25 minutes per player uh, is better than is is good. And it's been pretty good. We've been It's more than enough time. Yeah. I think we could do it in 20, 20. minutes per yeah. player. Um, but because but, Sealed, people are scared if it's new decks. We'll say 20. We're testing yeah. right now at 25. Yeah. And then at Archon, like if we were to bring decks we know, it would be 20 minutes. So you get five more minutes per player for a Sealed. Yep. Um, the other rule will be because I'm first player, uh, as we just saw, we do draw. We don't start the clocks um, until first player plays the first card. Well, basically, we'll do the mulligan phase. Um, right. We'll yeah, and that. then like right when you declare your your first turn, you can you can start the clock. Right. Now I'm forgetting what's in this deck. Once again, guys, these are our decks from our sealed meetup. They they are AOA decks. <laughs> Um, oh, yeah, I need to figure we, this out again. Mine's from the championship deck from that night. Uh, I don't, I don't, I'm not saying it's a great deck. It just is the deck I was given, and it worked out for me. Um, I am going, well, you have to, and, you have to uh, determine whether you're going to yeah. mulligan first. So, that. yeah, so you get to look at your hand uh, and take a look here. Am I going to mulligan? Uh, I will mulligan. Okay, I will mulligan as well. Okay. So, yeah, this is not part of your, the timers do not start until, like, the game i think the first player i'll say ready lyle will say ready and then okay. i start the clock basically yeah well i think um it probably should start now because we did a double mulligan and this is the game <laughs> this is the way yeah this is the is this, all right so this, i mulligan you mulliganed okay and then it's like right. this is the way so then i hit yeah, okay so yep. i start so i got 25 minutes guys <clears throat> and we can we can say that it's not that uh big a deal so I'm going to start with Brobnar. I'm going to go Lollop the Titanic's coming out. Boop. So I stop. Start. Boop. Um, I, I am going to... Um, also, one rule was, should you have to draw? I think the official ruling should be that you finish your entire turn phase. You can go loud. Just... Okay. Um, You finish your entire turn phase, including the draw, before you stop your clock. But we got real casual with it. Um, yeah. So I think there, there's there's a, there's some grounds there for official yeah. rulings that need to be. Made. I should have I should have kept my other hand uh, because I'm going to go shadows and I'm going to drop a skeleton key, Ooh. Um, and then I'm going to draw up, and then stop my clock, start your clock. Oh, so uh, apparently you went first. <laughs> yeah, apparently I went first as well. I think we both went first. <laughs> um, was kind of hoping something else would happen there, Lyle. Um, I was yeah i I was kind of hoping something else would happen. Too. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, this is the way. Yeah, you know, this is yeah, this is this is my way, dude. That's kind of ridiculous. Um, all right. This is this is not how this this deck. I this is not how I remember this deck play. <laughs> um, okay. Do I want to do this? Man, this kind of blows. Okay, I'm gonna go untamed. Uh, I'm gonna put out a dusk witch. Oh wait, wait, wait. No, she's Omega, right? Gotta learn. We gotta remember AOA. Did I start my clock? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm just gonna play life web, life web. Oh, dude. Wow. And then I'm going to Dusk Witch and be done. Wow. Ultimate value. I got to remember, AOA loves their Alpha Omega. <laughs> yeah. I'll draw, I'll ready, and then I'll stop my clock, start your clock. There. I think that would be the fairest thing, is that you need okay. to finish your entire turn. Okay. I think I have to do this. It's really quite a bummer, but I'm going to do... Um, my clock going? Okay, yeah, yeah. It's uh, untamed. you damn right. We're going to... We're going to plant my seed. Oh, dang. You got a net uh, seed, huh? And then we're going to return, guys, to your hand. Oof. So, I will say that you played Justice Blinded, SAS Justice Blinded, uh, in the community, hangs out in the Discord and stuff. Lyle played him, I think, the Twice. last game, and you beat him yep. uh, for the championship there from the loser's bracket. He said this deck you have is a very competitive deck. I remember yep. him saying that based on what you had in it. He yeah, he up, said but... this is a, is a possible Archon deck. That's said. pretty cool. Yeah, I beat him I beat him twice, dude. Beat him I, twice. I forget how I crushed 
Justin with his day. <laughs> I'm pretty just... sure I remember how I how I crushed, but then but then Justin crushed me, and I will I will I will recap that game later. Okay, here we go. Um... Okay. My my local group is texting me right now. My local keyboard group. They're all okay. talking so much keyboard. I'm forgetting trash. what the ruling was on this, but you will let me know. All right, so I'm gonna go Brobnar. Um. I'm going to put Lollop out. Yep. And then I'm going to play out Gengar Chieftain. Get yep. ready and fight with him. Yep. And Reap, right? Yep. Yep. And that's then, all solid. Huh? I said that's all solid. Yep. Okay, then I'm going to play out Drummer Knot. And I can repl I can bring Gengar back to my hand, right? Yep. That's it. That's how that works. Yeah. Yep, yep. And then I can play out Gengar again, right? Yep. Um, And is it... I can play him here. You can play him there. That's right. Which readies him. Yep. And then I reap with him. Yep. To bring Gengar back to my hand. That's right. What was the ruling on Drummer Knot before that was so broken? You can't. You used to be able to bring Dr Drummer Knot back to you. Yeah. Hand. Okay. It was the Drummer Knot. So doing what I'm doing wasn't the fix. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So what am I at now? So you've you've played uh, Gengar Chieftain twice, and you've uh, you've played and used Drummer Knot twice. Twice. So yeah. I'm at two and two. So I play this out. Right, that's three. All right, yep. You're gonna use drum or not? That's so, three. Yeah, I'm just helping keep. So back to my hand. Yep. Play him back out. Four. Yep. Then he readies up. Reap with him. Is that right? Yep. Four. You've used them four times. Is four that right? times each. I think they're equal, right? Yeah. And then he comes back. Put him back out. Five. Readies up. Five. So five five. And then I can come back, and I can do it one more time, right? Play him out. Yeah. Ready's up, because that would be six, and this is six here. I believe that's how that works. I mean, then I reap here. People in chat can let us know, but I think that's completely legit. Yeah, but if I so I can't play Ganger Chieftain one more time and use his ability. No. Like if I reap here, you reaped hit there, and if you yeah, if no. you if you pull Ganger Chieftain back to your hand, he remains in your hand. He can't go back to my hand. Okay. Cool. So I'm done. That's what no, I no, just... no, but but you you do have another giant, don't you? I don't have to do it, do. Oh well, okay. No, you he comes to my hand to. and then comes so, back out. Whatever. Yeah. yeah, I mean, if I have to, it, it isn't a may. You're right. Yeah. Okay. Boom. So then that's my turn. Bop bop. Oh, I should have drawn. For it, I played a card. All right. Checking out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to you, sir. Yeah. Shenanigans. <laughs> well, this is this is this is this is some BS, dude. I actually didn't get to pull this combo off once in our meetup tournament. I never drew this combo. I never drew drum or not. Out this of is the, BS, dude. Out of the entire tournament. I, I never got it. And then, like, Justin and everyone else was like, you have that combo in your deck? I was like, apparently? <laughs> like, I okay. never got it. <laughs> it's going to be, it's going to be Logos. This is, this is, this is BS, dude. Um, hey, man. Hey, man. Uh, hey, man. Uh, we are going to bring out uh, Archimedes. Archimedes. Uh, we're going to bring out. It's a crazy combo. Uh, Titan Mechanic. The Titan. Yeah. We are going to um, Neutron Shark. Ugh. Um, so we're going to destroy an enemy creature. We're going to, we're going to choose Drum or Not. Oh. Uh, we're going to use an enemy. Um, we're going to use a friendly creature artifact. We're going to discard. Um, Your Nepid Seed? <laughs> uh, Combo took me five minutes. Hey, that's on do... me. So long. I have 25 minutes. So... It's we're gonna start with our skeleton, uh, our skeleton key. Okay. Okay, and then we're gonna flip a card. All right, it's not logos, so I can do this again. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to be, which is more annoying. Wisely. I think we're gonna do. In the deck you drew, Garrett, from the meetup. Let's get rid of uh, Lollop. We're gonna get rid of Titan Mechanic that gets archived. Rip. We're going to. Oh, that's a flip cool combo. Oh, that's Logos. Oh. Drew into a ZYX. Yeah. yeah. So it stops, right? All right. Yep. And then I still have. Uh, I'm still Logos. I'm going to throw uh, Rocket Boots on Ooh, this boy. Rocket Boots. Rocket Boots yeah. on the boy. On yep. your Archimedes, huh? All right. All right. See, that's a cool combo, man. The neutron shark uh, Archimedes. Yeah. Kill off your line Justice combo. Justice Fine. It was pretty pretty upset. 
Did you pull that. like a big archive off on that or something? So basically, I wiped his board twice in a row. So I forge. It. I forge at six. Four. You forge at six. Yeah. First to the egg. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And crits to the people. Crits to the people. Um. Okay. 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 Mm-hmm. 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 Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm gonna go shadows. Shadows. Mm-hmm. 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 Um. Okay. So I'm gonna play shadows. I'm gonna go umbra. 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 Yo, bra. <gasps> oh, I played this out of order. Whatever. Um, it's fine. Um, I keep forgetting various card texts, but it doesn't matter to me. Doesn't matter to me. I'm gonna discard Heist Knight. I could have played it. Whatever. I didn't have anything on the board. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna play Throwing Stars and go one one and gain one for blowing up your Sharky butt. Um, I'm then going to play Life for Life to blow up Umbra and do six to your Broheim here. Boo. Boom. Oh, Neutron Shark actually gets uh, archived, right? Oh, that's yeah. right. I did that in the wrong yeah. order. You know what? I'll let you archive that because I'm not a I'm not because baby. That's, because that's the rules? Because okay. that's the rules and I'm not a baby <laughs> and say, can I do it again? You know what? I'm not going to say I could have done that in a much more optimal order. Because I'm not a baby, Lyle. Because I'm not a baby. Okay. I'm, I'm not a, I'm not a little. I'm not a baby about it. That's fine. You know, I'm not going to hit manual mode right now. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I'm not going to hit manual mode yet. Yeah, man, I'm not going to do it. Yo, hold up, hold up, hold up, manual mode. Is it my turn? Yo, I should have done that in a more optimal. I should have life for a life to his Archimedes and then killed him off. Yeah. That's what I should have done. That would have been optimal so that he couldn't archive his Neutron Shark, which he can kill my Ganger, I guess, with. <laughs> uh, I think what we're going to do is play Untamed. And then we're going to think about some things here. You've got time. Lyle, you know what? You've got time, dude. You've got time. Like Slick yeah. said, my combo took me five minutes. That's five minutes of my time. You can stop and think all you want. you got 20, 20 plus minutes to think. Yeah. Untamed is going to be a, a Darna and a Nox. Nox is going to get plus three power. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm going to draw two and say your turn. Wow. Whoa. <sighs> time out what's in here dude like for real man like what's 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 what are you, what's even in this these you know, decks like what are you doing with it? there's there's no damage friendly creatures i mean like what are you doing dude the, what, what are you doing what are you doing what are you, what are you doing, doing dude what are you doing what are you doing dude? Dude, dude what are you doing you hit my clock dude it's my time now you're on my time you're working on my time Hey yo, this is, this hey. is it's our time down here. Hey, you working on <laughs> your time up there, but it's our it's our time down you're here. You're working on my time here. Hey, yo. Alright, uh I'm gonna start with some untamed. Hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, oh, hey. hey, oh, oh no, maybe not. Hey, where, where's where's where where where's my meatball palm? Okay. Hey, maybe not, maybe not. Maybe I won't. <laughs> maybe I'll go uh some Brob now. Hey <laughs> You know what's really sweet? Like I I burned five minutes of my clock and I have one amber. I mean that's cool. Hey, hey, oh hey. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, I'm going to play Brobnar. Brobnar. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to reap. I'm going to play Drummonaut. What? So that's 1-1. One, one. Play ready. So is that 2-2? 2-2. Yep. Two, two. Two, two, two. And then back. And then... That's 3-3. Three. 3-3. Three, three. Three. Back. 4. That's 4. 4. 4. 5. 5. Six. Six. He goes to my hand, right? Yep. Yeah, and you can't play him at it. Okay. This is BS, dude. Um, I have six cards. Done. Your turn. Check out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is some BS right now. Championship deck, dude. Crit Camp Meetup 2019 Championship deck. TikTok goes the clock. Classic AOA abusement right here. Oh, that guy should be ready, by the way. But you know that. You smart guy. That's yeah. not the key. Tab don't do that. 
I have what, to what's attack. What's saying you have to attack? Why? What does that mean? I can read. Why did he, why did he have to attack? Oh, you may ready and fight. Oh, I didn't have an empty board last time. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, back to my it's turn. It's not ready and used, dude. Oh, not, mess not up. Zach, you'll, dude. Mess up. Mess up. All right, so I got six amber there, right? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Yeah. So who was out? It was like this, right? Yeah. So if I did this. So you reaped first. That's what you did. Okay. I reaped first. Oh yeah, reset the clock, or or this is just is this penalty? No, I'm not resetting the clock on my end. You could add not, time back okay. to your end. I don't know. It wasn't that much. I don't think. Okay. Because I'll, I'll just do this differently then. Okay. Um, we're gonna do a rewind, but okay. I guess this would be if that happened, that would be a judge call. Yeah. Um, in terms of our clocking, right? Yeah. Um, I forgot that last time you didn't have creatures on the board. I totally ignored the fact that you have creatures on the board. <laughs> yeah. But you didn't stop me, dude. <laughs> I didn't stop you though. So that that would have actually been on me. That would have been um, on you. I could have said he didn't he didn't stop me, Judge. <laughs> we could have paused our clock. <laughs> yeah, so it's on, you know, hey man. Um so all right, I'm gonna go uh, untamed. I'm gonna play out Glimmer. Um I will bring life web back to my hand. Okay. Oop. Uh, I'm just going to play Life Web for the Amber. Um, I'm then going to play uh, Soldiers to Flowers. I only gain one for it. And then I'm going to play Dusk Witch over here. Boop, boop. Boom. And check at six. Your turn. Boop, boop. Look at that. Look how legit I am, Lyle. Look how legit. This is... Oh, boo. I should Boo. I'm cheating on the clocks. I'm cheating on the clocks. Rubbish, filth, slime. But rock. I think boo. if we stay to the clocking rules, and they're like, oh, now the clocking rules are all jacked. You're gonna do your turn, Lyle. Um, okay. Like, if people start um, saying... We're going to do, gonna do like, logos, so we're going to pull the archive. It, with the clocking rules like this, it's on the active player to monitor what's happening on the game. I mean, if Lyle just kind of let me cheat hardcore like that, you know what I mean? Wow, dude. Wow. Wow. Um, so that's logos. We are going to uh, pop our seed Ew. Uh, to get uh, Archimedes in my hand. Um we're gonna put Archimedes down. Cool. Neutron shark. Put, uh, we're gonna put Titan Mechanic down. Neutron shark. Over here, and then we're going to. Uh, shark. shark shark. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna Neutron shark. <laughs> baby shark. Do 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 do. Uh, baby sharks. Do, do, uh, do, do, we're going do. to uh, kill. Baby shark. Your um. Ooh. We're gonna kill your Ganger chieftain. Ooh. We're gonna archive our Titan Mechanic. Do, do, uh, we're do, gonna do. pull this. Okay, bad penny. Ooh. We're gonna do it again. Oh my! We're gonna get rid of your dusk witch. No. My darna. Archive that. Let's flip this. It's a Ronnie. Ronnie. That sucks. Um. We are going to kill my glimmer. Actually, I should have just stopped it. I should have just done my my shark, dude. It will. All right, we're gonna get rid of the glimmer and the Nox. Cool. Wait, do I want to get the the Nox? You can kill your shark. Yeah. I, oh, yeah, that's right. That's how that works. You can stop. Oh, uh, well, no, he doesn't get archived, though. Damn it. No. I placed him in the wrong place. Look, dude. It's your time, dude. You can mess yeah, up on your time. I still have to flip over want. this card, though, I think. You, or do I? You did a thing, and because you flipped, you killed my Glimmer, you have to you have to kill one of your dudes. You're killing your shark yeah. to stop I the effect. Killed my shark. That stops the effect. Okay, stops the effect. It's no longer active on the board. Okay, and then I'm going to also uh, wild worm hole. Yeah, I did that a little incorrectly. Well, oh. memory chip. Ooh. Not bad. Yeah, so I couldn't I couldn't stop the forge, but I did I did some stuff. Can't there. stop the forge. All right, remember your clock, sir. Oh yeah. Forge is the second key. Swing. Bam. Second to the egg. Interesting. Interesting, Lyle. Yeah. Interesting. What do I want to do? What well, I want to do. Okay. Okay. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Okay, I'm going to go Shadows. Okay. I'm going to play Dusk Chronicles. 
You have more amber than me, so I draw a card. Swing. Boo. Um, I will then play Redlock. At the end of my turn, if I did not play any creatures this turn, gain one. So I will end my turn, gain one, draw one, stop my clock, hit your clock, your turn, go. Okay, it's going to be Shadows. Um, Shadow. Shadow. We are going to play a uh, Lamindra over here. Oh. And a Knuckles so, Bolton over so, here. So, so Knuckles. And a... So Knuckles right now. Um, and a Knuckles Bolton over here. Double Knuckles, dude. So many And then put a Ring of Invincibility on this oh guy. Oh my gosh, Skirmish, he's invisible. <laughs> yeah. Uh, then he gets more power because oh he's got gosh. neighbor. So much power. So much power, dude. Oh my gosh. Ultimate power. Oh my gosh. Um, oh my gosh. Nuts, dude. You're just nuts right now. It's crazy. Let's see. Do I want to do this? I think so. I don't like this guy. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? I mean, everyone's elusive. You know, I will, just to get this out of my hand. I'm gonna lights out. This guy goes back to your, your hand there. Fine. I could possibly be giving you another amber there, but... Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's it. I'm gonna draw five. And start your clock. Oh, did those make boop sounds when you did that? Yeah, I was like, beep, boop. I didn't hear that. That's the first time I've heard that noise. <laughs> yeah, I know, me too. I was beep, like, boop. I guess we were talking over it last time. Beep, but that's pretty good, dude. Yeah, I wish we could turn the volumes up on our clocks. Can we? Is there a volume setting? No. Yo, turn the volume on the clock. Yo, turn up the clock. Turn up the clock. Yo, clock, clock, clock. Turn up the clock. Um, Okay, dude, let's roll. Let's roll. Choices need to be made, man. Choices need to be made, man. Hold on, I'm gonna look at your discard for a second. Please help yourself. Um, okay, I'm gonna go Brobnar. Brobnar. I'm gonna play out Signal Fire for a buck. So okay. if I pop that, I can what, use. What does this do again? Yeah. Friendly Brobnar. Main term, friendly fight. Brobnar may fight. Okay. That was the active house. It is Omni, omnipotent. Omnipotent. Um, so then I'm just going to play out Little Rascal, a drummer knot. He's not a giant, so I can't do anything with him. And then I'm going to pound your Archimedes. Plow. Two and oh. one. Oh. One splash, dude. Yes, yeah, son. Boop, boop, boop. Draw three. One splash, one boop. splash. Boop, boop. Your turn. Splash, splash, splash. So because okay. of Little Rascal, you must fight when used. If yeah. able. I hear you. I hear you, dude. If you can, Lyle, if you believe in yourself, you must fight me. You must fight me if you believe. The original well, do you, Enrager, Do you dude. believe in life after love? The original Enrage, before Worlds Collide. The OG Enrage, right here. Okay. Yeah, we're going to do Untamed. We have to fight. Uh, this guy's got uh, Skirmish. Fight me, dude. Right, I'm going to fight into your Dromonaut. Oh. Let's do that. We're going to play... Um, we're going to play Flaxia, gain two. Dang, dude. Look at you getting rich with your bug ladies. I know, dude. We're going to play Song of Spring just for the Ambler. Mm. Um, I mean, you can shuffle this back into your deck, you know? What's that? You can shuffle your Untamed from your battle line back into your deck. That goes from your hand oh, to your yeah. deck or discard pile. I'm just saying. Oh, dude. I say. I thought it was from my discard pile. I didn't read I'm the whole card. I'm just saying, dude. I'm not saying. I'm just saying. Uh, shuffle any number of creatures. That's just how that works, dude. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna bring Flaxia back. Oh. And then freaking that is do a, this. You can't bring it to your hand. You have to put it in your deck. But. Oh really? If you read the card. Oh yeah. Let's put it, let's put it on the deck, dude. That's probably a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> then shuffle. I don't know. We're gonna do a little shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Uh, and then we're going to. What are you gonna do, dude? This is real sad. What, do you have I'm going to. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pitch this. I'm not gonna use this because you actually have two untamed creatures in your discard pile, and that would get you to check, and you would win the game. That would be so, cool. Uh, let's not do that. <laughs> Fine. And then we're gonna draw three and boop 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 boop. Um, uh, my turn. Yeah. Uh, I will play shadows swindle. Boo. Blam. Draw one. 
Boop, boop. <laughs> Your turn. Check it seven. Wow. <laughs> this was the, the stupidest game ever. <laughs> stupidest game I've ever played. You have some of the lamest life. Shadows guys out right now. I think Lamindra's great. I've never really been a fan of Knuckles Bolton. Unless he gets, like, a buff on him. Yeah, or I mean, yeah. He can punch face and stuff, but, like, I don't know. Not not a fan of the Knuckles, normally. He just is non-threatening. Yeah. At three power, I guess he's not bad, and he's a body, and he's elusive and skirmishy. I don't know. I just... He's, he's a dude. He's a dude, yeah. but... Reap, dude, I guess. If I'm scared of your Reap, I guess it's not so bad. Like, Knuckles Bolton with, like, uh, what's his name from Worlds Collide is, like pretty cool two three four five six seven i don't think i can stop the one power guy that lets you steal for an action and stuff and they're pretty sick because you can fight with them and all that okay hold on hold on with that card it's either hand discard or battle line correct you played it that way but i want to make sure i understand it correctly yes it's it's uh yeah correct what's the name of that card again it's okay why can't i interact with your thing oh because i'm i'm in it oh you're in it yeah he's in it. it what's the name of that card again it was uh song of spring no yeah, Song of Spring. No, it's not Song Shuffle of Spring. Shuffle any number of friendly and tame creatures from your hand, your discard pile, or your battle line back into your deck. It's Song you of Spring. You choose one. Your hand, your discard pile, Yeah, it was Song of Spring. Line. I thought Song of Spring was yeah. the World's Collide card with the elephant on it. It gives you all the extra amber or whatever. Oh, uh, no, the, it makes everybody a Dewfairy. Yeah. What's the name of that? Um, Something Spring. I thought that was Song of Spring. I don't know. I guess not. I forget what that yeah. card is. I think I think you got me. Um, Take my money. Yeah, there's gonna be. I'm gonna play logos. I'm gonna archive a card, but I'm gonna pull my archive, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. Um. And then we're going to play. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> we're gonna play cutthroat research. Savage. For the amber. Uh, we're gonna play library of blabble. Blabble. Uh, we're going to play. Uh, Archimedes doesn't Archimedes. matter. The Archimedes. We're gonna play uh, Hexpian. Ooh. We're gonna play Titan Mechanic. Oh. We're gonna play Titan Mechanic. Jesus. He's cost four. Uh, and that's it. <laughs> Game. <laughs> I forge it four. Yay! I forge it four. Flips the clear for dink. Yes. Oh, look at that. We're not Ganger Chief and shenanigans early. That was that was that was rough. But even then, you can see I why smoked. I, I smoked. I skunked Justin. Yeah, you skunked Justin because I swindled him to zero just to be total uh, BM. But yes, yeah. first win goes here. And right there, what's oh, left on the clock? It's a rough, it's a rough AOA deck. So I used there, I used eleven and a half minutes. You used. Uh, Oh, Bugging who says don't concede until all of my time is That's up. right. That's right. Don't, yeah, you could. No, you technically could. We talked about that, Bugging who. Yeah, yeah. And That's we were like, you could be That's that my guy. Time. I could do whatever I want with my time. You could Oops. be that guy. Don't be that guy, but be that uh, guy. I just, I just uh, deleted my card back. So. Oh, Lyle just deleted yeah. his card, so yeah. he has to go. Rewind. Uh, rewind. Can, you can do it, can't you? Oh, can I? Yeah. You have the. I've re- never done the rewind. Where is the rewind? Rewind? It's right here. Oh, I don't have that. Ability. Oh, because probably I'm hosting. Did it come back? Nope. <laughs> We're having fun with tabletop sim today. Is it back now? I don't know what you deleted. No. I believe it was a Titan mechanic. There it is. It's back. Okay, so we're back. We're back to where we were. But yes. So we ended the game at eleven. You had eleven and a half minutes left. I had thirteen and a half minutes left. So roughly that game took how long? Uh, you know, like ten, like fourteen minutes on my side, and about twelve you know, minutes on my side. So twenty five minutes, twenty six minutes. That's all it took. Intense, maybe, yeah. That's all it took, guys. Yeah, it's all it's all it took, dude. Yeah, and we were, you know, messing around, doing that kind of thing. We had to rewind. I kept the clock going, even on our mistake. Yeah. Um, like so we wasted time. If we'd played strictly straight through that kind of thing. Yeah. It would have been uh we're also, yeah, we're also messing around with each other and all that crap. Yeah. So if you were in a competitive scene or you're sitting there on a focused thing, this game could have taken twenty minutes, if not less. But look how much time we had left. We had over yeah. ten minutes each at twenty five minutes total yeah um I'm telling you it feels good it feels good with the clock yeah and these are decks that you know we don't really know now i'm gonna say that this deck is uh pretty <laughs> i actually like this deck <laughs> i mean it's nice getting that combo but i have some fun cards to sort of get ahead and keep you down yeah um, you know i don't know if it's competitive level i don't think it comes in at any sort of 
a crazy rating or anything like that. Um, but the timing feels good. Yeah, this is only a 64 if you want to go by SAS. Um, uh, I think mine's a 63. But it's very fast. Three. It's very fast. Um, yeah, they're actually very... It's not ARC. Yeah. Hey, you're Call, a according to SAS, yours is 64 and mine's a 63. But they feel better than that. I think you know? there's just combos in there. Yeah, it's one I of those things. I think there are combos where... there that, that SAS doesn't really capitalize on. Yeah, but they're kind of equal. We're, you know, low to mid 60s each. Uh, we both are pretty fast decks um, in terms of generation. You've got some, but yeah, I think you're right. I think both decks have some combos to them um, that are kind of interesting. Uh, like yeah. you have some crazy logo stuff that you could archive away like crazy. I love that combo. Um, here, yeah, got... so, so, so double archimedes with neutron shark is what won me games against justice blinded over and over so basically what would happen was i would dump an entire turn of logos creatures i would archive them all um and because i had so many arc so many logos in my hand there was not so many in my deck so every time i was flipping for neutron shark it would be another house um and i would just keep taking that off and so basically i would do like a five creature clear where i would clear like four of his artifacts and a creature um because it, uh, it's also artifact control and so i would do that all of those cards including my neutron shark would go in my archive so i could do the same exact thing the next turn yeah. if i wanted to um and so basically i was just keeping his board clear and then and then maintaining position that way that's pretty cool and he was like really upset about it <laughs> i want to say that the reason why justin won the game that we had was i was in the lead I had about eight to ten cards in my archive, and then he disanniated me. Um, and so Love I her. lost the entire combo. You know, mm -hmm. I lost all of my answers that yeah. were in there. He gained ten amber. <laughs> I love her. And She's it great. was a crazy swing. Yeah. Love Dasania. Dasania has been was awesome, yep. especially in Worlds Collide. Like I have this deck. Um, which was the Avery deck? I was playing it the other, but I can archive like crazy. It's that. I mean, like it's even faster than that Triple Eddie deck I have that I was playing mm -hmm. with you. Um, from the packs on the seal vault tour it's the avery deck it's the deck that has my son's name in it i've been practicing it it yeah. has it doesn't have it, it doesn't have a data forge in it it might um or no it's this halo Le is this halo deck yeah no it's this how uh, it's this halo that has like double tau my only tau tau vapor thing um has triple daughters has like has a data forge in it um but it's got all these it has that uh one dude in it what's his name uh science officer morpheus yeah with the uh information the officer guy effect. right yeah that i can just double i can do the four archive i was getting my archive so fat dude but it was like i'm so afraid of dasania with that deck <laughs> I was yeah, like, oh, yeah, no. yeah, yeah um but super cool so uh yeah my deck over here uh lyle well, bust that out uh here's the green thumb just took the win what yeah what i'm what i'm remembering about this deck was that drummer knot um i have double drummer knot with the the combo if Dang. i can get your board free Drummer not yeah, Gengar Gengar Chieftain Chieftain. combo, but yeah. I never drew. I didn't go through my whole deck with you. I never yeah. went through my whole deck at the tournament because I almost don't need to with cards yeah. like Swindle and stuff like that for big bursty Amber. Yeah, there's of a lot of answers in your deck, which is kind of yeah. annoying. Yeah. Um, the, I have pers uh, not persistent. What is it? Uh, I have um, double life webs, like stuff like yeah. that, where if you want to build, I'm like, cool, I'm just going to take your Amber. So I have multiple ways to steal. Um, multiple ways to fight burn the stockpiles in here <laughs> like, yeah oh my god like there's cool right, get, in every house i can take you down give me one second yeah so um i dig this deck it's a cool little deck uh you know these mid 60s decks that people are like oh the sas is only mid 60s it's not good they're fun man um and you just saw there how fast that went so it feels good man it feels good we're gonna get back into the gameplay uh once lyle gets back in here uh and uh take on another game so i mean if people are just hanging out in chat if anyone has any comments about the clock or the clocking or any ideas, like, I mean, all, all I think we ran into there as we wait for Lyle to come back for game number two, all I think we ran into there hitch wise with the timing is, um, is, is the like mess ups, right? Calling over the judge. But I think on a judge call, like with any chess clock, you can pause the clock where if you're an active player and you're doing your turn, totally just blanked out. Um, with my brain a million other places and forgot that he had dudes on the board. So thanks to Garrett for going, dude, you can't, you have to fight with those dudes. You can't just rack up Amber. Um, in that case, it would have been a, oh crap, you're right. I ended up, you didn't say anything at the time. I wish you'd said something then. Pause the clocks, call the judge. 
and the judge, yeah, and the judge would come over and be like, why is the clock paused? You give a legit, really, look, I messed up. We both caught it after the fact. Judges can say, you know, how long did it take? Um, are we okay with just starting the clocks back up or something, right? If a second or two is gone, but if, if it was sitting on your opponent's turn for like five minutes and they didn't say anything and they went through their turn and then realized that your Ganger Chieftain had to fight <laughs> or, or whoever you were readying up had to fight, I think at that point it's on the not the active player to say, you're the active player, you should have called him out. You let him just have six Amber. It's against the rules and he shouldn't have been able to do that, but was it caught? Was it an outright cheat? Was it just a missed thing? And if it's like five minutes into your time or multiple turns later, I think with any ruling, they're going to say, dude, you should have called it, right? I mean, what would it, what would the ruling be now if it's gone a couple turns ahead before players realize? Um, like I'm saying, it's it's no different than current timing, I think, argument there. Um, I'm actually going to... Oh, what's the 25 seconds? He knows the number. I think we should set this to uh, 20 minutes. Since now we know the decks... I think 20 minutes is what we're thinking is best for just Archon timings. <laughs> you can hear it. Something's happening to lot. I'm doing minutes uh, calculations here because I'm... So, <laughs> what's 20 minutes times 60 seconds? 1,200. All right. So, you have to go in here. You go to timer. 1,200 seconds. I think is fair for Archon. So I'm actually going to set that so we have 20 minutes for the next game here. I think that's that's fair. Oh, shoot. How... What? How do you reset the clocks? Oh, just reset? Uh... What? How do you do that? Oh, what? No! No! He must know how to do the quick set. There we go. 20 minutes each. But yeah, the, the judge would stop the clock and it would mess. But if anyone missed it before, I know I was kind of clunky uh, in showing how to bring the clocks in via tabletop sim, at least the ones we're currently using. We, we searched around because we did this on the fly. But um, to bring stuff in, you bring up your overlay, your UI, your, your UI here, your GUI. Um, you go up to objects, this little meeple looking guy. You go to components and then you go to tools. And inside here, you'll find the digital clock. You just spawn two of them. And with that, you just right click and you can set the time in seconds um, and mess with them, change the colors and all that good stuff. And then you can save it to your game so that you can have stop stopwatches in your thing. I don't think it's optimal. I think we'll do some research and try to find a legit or a, a better chess clock mod to bring it in from maybe Sky Jedi can make us one. Ah, that would be nice. This guy Jedi is not busy doing his own job, raising kids, uh, building stuff for the Crucible, working on tabletop sim mods already, building bots for the Keyforge community, competing in his own chainbound events, uh, you know, just trying to enjoy time with his family around the holidays. He's not busy. He's not doing anything, right? So we can get Sky Jedi to come on in. I think it would be great. But as we wait for Lyle, has anyone um, been competing? So look. So you hanging out in chat? Anyone been going to some events recently? How you been doing? How you been doing? Let's have a little chat here while we wait for, uh, as we wait for Lyle. What do you say? As I get spam emails flying in. Where, what happened to him, man? What happened to Lyle? What happened to Lyle? No events since Worlds Collide came out. Is there a reason for that, Saluk? I'm curious. Just not interested? Or just haven't made it out? Um, Been too busy. Understand. Understandable. I haven't been to a single Chainbound event uh, since World Collide came out for the same reason. Uh, World, The Vault Tour was my first Worlds Collide event. I didn't go to any local events or anything like that. Um, so the vault tour was my first one. It definitely hurt me. Um, I talked about it last week. The deck I used in the seal vault tour went four and two, which is respectable. The first two games I lost were literally, or I place a lot of the blame at least on the fact that I didn't understand the Saurian card that was in the deck. I definitely would have won the second game I lost, uh, if it, I had understood the card and just had a knowledge of the card. The other thing, the first game, a card that really hurt me 
but I played into it. It was it was the big one um, from Worlds Collide in that first game. But he he beat me. His deck was just much faster. Um, I couldn't have dodged it with my deck, uh, and he did well in that first game. So, but just knowing the knowledge of the cards, it would have helped me a lot. Been on incredible losing streaks as Bug and Who. Um, playing a lot of fun Worlds Collide and Crucible has Yeah. So speaking of the Crucible and Bug and Who's losing streak, I've also been on a losing streak on the Crucible, all down to like one turn. All, all my games have been coming down to literally one Amber in one turn. And also, I've been playing two different Data Forge decks on Crucible. I can never draw my Data Forge. I can never draw it to archive it. I can never get to it when I need to get to it. I literally think there's something in the Crucible coding that takes Data Forge and makes it completely impossible to get. I swear it just moves it down through your deck whenever you actually need it. What's going on, Justin? We had a picture of you right here. There you are as you're uh, the, the second place winner <laughs> we're actually playing the these decks this is the deck right here justin that skunked you oh look who's back lyle i'm feeling oh, i'm tired. back i'm back i'm back um did we get the pax pox like justin did no i didn't get sick after pox. i was sick going to pax somewhat um i was fighting some stuff so i was still recovering from that but no i didn't i actually got better <laughs> um mortavis yeah i did not Ahoy. i did not get sick how are you sir no i've been on a winning streak on crucible slook's been on a winning streak i've been on a losing streak like bug and who on the crucible um we, he gave the Pax box, exactly. Yeah. I was the one who passed it on. No, I'd been sick for like two months. And I didn't, like, I was on the tail end. I'd got medication, and it wasn't like I was dying as bad as I was a couple weeks prior to Pax. I fought and fought and fought. I just needed rest. So I was I was the best I'd been. You did not get the Chris box. I'm just saying, I wasn't, I wasn't 100%. You're just sad that I filled you with hate, and the hate consumed you, and it wore you out. That's all that happened. That's all yeah. that happened, dude. Don't, don't blame me for your Vault Tour win. Don't blame me. Oh, I got the Pax Pox and I want a Vault Tour. Mwah. Mwah. I'm Justin. Mwah. 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 Look at me flex. Mwah. <laughs> Mwah. Mwah. You probably just wore yourself out with too much Keyforge. Welcome back, Lyle. Yeah. So while you I gotta, were going... I got to say, now that Justin's in chat, I was I was hanging out with my local Keyforge people for the first time since Pax. And they were all, they were all talking about... They're like, oh man, did you see that final match for for uh, Vault Tour Archon? And I'm like, they were all talking about it, and I'm like, no. What are you talking about, Justin? <laughs> They're like, yeah, man, he, he had like Dislogo Shadows. It was great. And I was just like, I know that guy. I I beat. I I, I beat, we've beaten that guy we beat before. <laughs> we beat that guy. I like how whenever Justin comes in the chat, he just knows he's gonna get. <laughs> he's just gonna get rail. <laughs> no. But Lyle just experienced what you experienced, Justin, at the uh, the meetup tournament. Because that's that's the deck right there that I'm using against Lyle. So I got the first win um, as we continue on, because now Lyle's back. Let's get back into the games. Um, yep. So something I changed, Lyle. So we're implementing the chess clocks today, guys. Uh, yep. well, this is the first stream we're doing back from Lyle. So chess clocks begin. Um, we started doing the clocking. We're doing some more testing uh, this time on air with Tabletop Simulator. Um, yep. We're being the change we need. We've added the clocks over here, as you can see to the right. We just did yep. 25 minutes each with the decks we used at our sealed thing, AOA decks from that night. Um, we had tons of time left, uh, even in yep. a sealed-esque format, right? Because we didn't yep. we haven't played the decks since the meetup. Um, so now I think, Lyle, because we had so much time left, because now we're playing more Archon, we know our decks now, I think yep. 20 minutes is what we should set them for for an Archon timing. I think that's fair. 20 minutes? Yeah, 20 minutes. Yeah, let's do that. That's cool. I'm cool I, with that. I think, yeah, it's somewhere in 20 to 25 minutes, guys, that we want to see what would be good for a competitive scene. Yeah. 25 for sealed. Because I, I think, I think in, 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 in regular games, chain-bound games, you get 35 minutes. That would be like 17 and a half minutes each, right? Yeah. So 20 minutes, 20 minutes is good. Yeah, I think 20 minutes is good. <laughs> Nate beats Justin a lot. It's not all that. So it's a look. Dude, Nate is good, dude. Nate is my boy. Nate's even in this Nate picture. Nate is good. Nate, Nate is, is in, good. Nate is right he's, here. I also he's... beat Nate. <laughs> yeah, you also. Yeah, you also beat Nate. I beat. I'll, I'll just say, and you know, no bragging here. But in this tournament with <laughs> no, this deck, no, no bragging. Yeah, right. No bragging here. But this deck beat both Nate and Justin that night. So I mean, you guys are just calling. You're just just naming losers' names in this in this chat. I mean, I'm not saying oh, they're losers. God. I'm just saying they did lose. Uh, just saying. <laughs> just just facts. Just facts. Just facts. Dude. Just facts. You know, they wish they could say that, but they can't because they didn't have to face us at all in the vault tours or anything. So, yeah, just saying it's just fact that we beat 
We've never been beat by Tabletop Royale. No, that's that's a lie. Uh, Justin beat this deck. <laughs> oh, yeah, Justin Justin beat you. <laughs> Justin okay. beat this deck I'm playing. Yeah, dude. but you were also in a loser's bracket. With epic Desanio plays, dude. <laughs> with epic Desanio plays. All right, enough, enough little, trash talk. Little, with little baby plays. <laughs> <laughs> enough trash talk, Lyle. It's time to get into game number two. Um, you're, do you want to start? Do you want to be first or second? You know what? Actually, I've lost to both members of Tabletop Royale. Because I played, I played Nate first round of the Indie Vault Tour. It was close though. It was two mm. keys to two keys. It wasn't, That's and, right. and it, it, you know, right. It was close. Right. Well, Lyle, you were also the he, champion. He did let me take back some some moves <laughs> during that Vault Tour. He was a really nice guy about yeah. it. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> um, I will say though that uh, Lyle, you are the champion of the losers bracket, so that's yes. okay. That's yeah, yeah. I'm a champion of something, dude. I am the champion of the winners bracket, therefore. I have never lost <laughs> to Tabletop Royale. So, do you, Lyle, would you like to go first or second in the second game? Um, I'm going to go second. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to go second. All right, so I will draw my seven. So we do not start the clocks um, until we've gone through the mulligan phase and decide to yeah. say go. So if I choose to mulligan, let's see. Um... I think I do. Uh, mulliganing. I think I'm going to... Oh, this is... I'm going to mulligan, but I probably shouldn't. <laughs> I almost decided to delete Tabletop Royale from the internet that night. <laughs> yeah, was it that okay, bad? Here I don't we go. Think it was that You're up bad. first. We're starting your clock. You started my clock? Yeah, dude. Okay, man. Starting my clock. Mm. Start it up. Oh, Start it up. So he hit my button for me. Thanks for hitting my button, Lyle. Yeah, no problem. You know how to hit my button. Oh, God. <laughs> sure know how to hit that button, boy. Oh, Jesus. Um, okay, I'm going to start with... Um... Yeah, Sky Jedi is a bouse. I'm going to play Shadows. I'm going to hit Hidden Stash, actually. Yeah. And I will archive... I'm going to Urkeev. Um, this. Okay, I will draw two. And... Beep, boop. Okay, I'm going to play Untamed. I'm going to play Song of Spring. Ah. And Soldiers to Flowers. Oh, dang. Dude, crazy starts again. <laughs> oh, I should have gone, gone first and then done the clock, sorry. We need Sky... Yeah, Sky Jedi's new task, if he shows up today, uh, is he has to build us a chess clock for tabletop. Yeah. <laughs> because yeah. this is ridiculous. Uh, we'll get there. We'll get him. We'll get him. Yeah, yeah, we'll, get, yeah we'll get him. We'll get him. We'll, we'll get, get him, guys. We'll get him. We'll freaking get him. Well, this is interesting, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to play Untamed. I'm going to play out a Fang House and a Nepenthe Seed. Fang House and a Nepenthe Seed. Over to you. Beep boop. Beep boop. Uh, we are going to play... Starting house. What up? Fifth Planet Keyforge? Fifth Planet, thank you so much. I was telling Lyle, well, Fifth Planet found a Mittens deck. So rad. Awesome. Yeah, we do need a big red button. Well, we just need a chess clock. That's like... Yeah. Like, way better. Okay, we're going to do uh, Logos. Logos. Uh, Archimedes. Um, Dude, thank you so much, Fifth. That's awesome, man. Thank you. That's very cool of you to think of us. There's a chess clock in the workshop. I, I tried. Uh, we looked at one. It wasn't great. Researcher. I'm going to archive the top card of the deck. Whoops. That's the whole deck. Um, if you can pass Let's the link, Mortivus, that'd be awesome. I want to see which one you're talking about. Because we checked out one before the stream, or one during the stream, which was really dirty. Yeah. It just didn't look great. And then we're going to do uh, the old Neutron Shark. We're going to choose your, your seed. We're going to choose ZYX Researcher. Baby Shark. Doo, 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 doo. Oh, that's it. It Beep. ends. It ends. Damn it. Not lucky. It ends. All right. Draw. I'm not happy. All right. I'm not happy with how this is going. Yeah. Um, What's the flippy? Oh, yeah. Shift Alt. Okay. Forgetting what's in my archive. Test it out first. Yeah, I couldn't. So the only chess thing we found... Um, was like a build some guy built out of these clocks. So it really was, and we couldn't pull it in as one piece into the thing. It's its own 
I don't know what it is. I didn't even go into the mod. But it wasn't what we were looking for. Yeah. Um, and I, and, and I, I still haven't found what I'm looking for. Yeah. Still looking for the find. Still looking to find what I'm looking for. Uh, this is a... I don't like where I am, but I have to do things, dude. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, that's kind of how this game works, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right? No mean. Um, so I mean. guess I'm going Brobnar. Thanks, Fifth Planet. <laughs> um, guess I'm going Brobnar, dude. So I'm going to discard Burn the Stockpile. Uh, I'm going to discard Into the Fray. Um, so I can't do this, right? Drummer not, drummer not. <laughs> like this is the they said you can't do this. This is the ruling. Yeah, I think the errata says it's 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 other giant, right? It's right. Friendly. Is other that is giant. that what the errata was from back in the day? Yeah, the very cheat. like like the errata like just before AOA even came out. You can't even put both out. I can't put them out and just say I can't bounce this one. You see? Oh, you can't. I, can you not? You can't have two drummers. What does the errata board? say exactly? Yeah, what, I forget now because I. They bounce each have, other. You have to bounce. You can't bounce yourself. You have to bounce somebody else. Is that what it is? Return another friendly. Anno yeah. Return another friendly giant. So I can play it out, right? Yeah. And then and then the next. But then I just one can't play the other one. That one back. So I have to do this. Yeah. You need a third giant. All the one says. Okay. You can tell how many, how many drummer not decks that Chris yeah, and I have. I have opened. not. I think I own two, and this is the only one that I have double with. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to discard this then, which is weird. Wow. 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 I'm going to discard one, throw that out. Okay. Draw five. Wasting my time. I'm wasting my time discussing these old school erratas that. Yeah, I know. I have no old use. Old erratas. All right, so drummer knots out, and little rascals out. Little Rapscal. I need a third giant on the board. Gotcha. Little Rapscallion. I mean, I get it. That was This was like the the double drone um, thing was nuts. I just never had the beauty of abusing that back in the day. Yeah. I was hoping I for my other. I think what we're going to do. That's the only one I do here. Um, sing. What you going to do? What you going to do, do last? Do host. Um, World's classic only without a Rada. Well, hopefully. I mean, that shows that <laughs> that's a good thing, right? As we increase in sets, we should be getting less Aradas, I'd hope. Okay, I think we're going to do the Logos. And we're going to grab our archive. Oh, boy. Here comes the baby shark. Do, 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 do. I'm getting, I'm getting nated right now. Okay, we're going to do uh, ZYX Researcher. We're going to archive this Titan Mechanic. Um, you didn't have to show me it, did you? What? Oh, it was a discard pile. It's the top of my top of my oh, discards yeah, 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 for yeah, public yeah. public info. Uh, okay. And then I have to fight. Um, fight me, bro. I'm gonna fight you, bro. I'm going to uh, fight the lit little rap skull with neutron shark. Ooh, nice play. I'm yeah, and then so. I'm going to uh, kill your drummer not. No. And this ZYX Researcher gets archived, and then I'm going to flip this card, and it's not. Ooh, Flaxia, good. Yeah. And Off then the I'm going to get Take care, rid man. of... Good to see you, bud. Thanks for everything. Yeah, man. then I'm going to get rid of... Who's more annoying here? We don't even know how cards work in Worlds Clyde yet. <laughs> I grease a lot. Yeah. Truth. Let's get rid of Fang House production and this Neutron Shark who gets archived. You killed the Baby Shark. Yeah. Do, do, do. Um... Baby shark. And I can't. Oh, actually, I can't reap with this guy. Not now. So I got rid of that guy. I'm, you know what? No. Let me get rid of. Uh, keep the fang house out. I'm gonna get rid of little rap skull, and then I'm gonna reap with this guy. Wow! Look at that. Rewind. Yeah. I'll allow yeah. it. I'll allow it. I'll allow it on your time. There you go. You're up. That'll play. That'll play. Um. So what did you play last turn? Did you play anybody? You just fought, I right? played uh, one ZYX Researcher. Right. Yeah, get your life web out of here, dude. I don't want life web right now, dude. I don't want it. I don't want it. Um, I'm going to go uh, Shadows. I'm going to play Dust Chronicles to draw a card because you have more than Boo. One. Because you rich. Boo. Wait, what was... Oh, I forgot I have my archive. Yeah, fine. Draw a card. 
do 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 um I'm then going to play Furtive Investors for a buck. I'm going to play Lights Out, put it back in your hand. Ooh, okay. I'm then going to play a red lock. End my turn, draw three, gain a buck. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Gain a buck for red lock. Gain a buck for red lock. Red lock. Because I didn't play anything, right? No. I didn't play any creatures. All right. I'm I think what we're going to do five. is play Untamed. Uh, we're going to... We're going to Nature's Call. We're going to turn those to your hand. I'm out of here. Wait, hold on. Let me look at my archive for a sec. Okay. Red Lock uh, isn't a creature? Gonna play, we're going to play Grove Keeper. That's actually a good point. Does Red, Clock, does Red Lock count as a creature? He does, right? Yeah, we're going to regrowth my Flaxia, by the way. Yeah, does he count as himself, Lyle? And then I'm going to bring out Flaxia. Let me just finish my turn here. Because um, I played that. a red lock. I mean, so he's a yeah, creature. he's an elf and he's a thief. He's a creature. So this, I shouldn't be gaining one for this then. At the end of your turn, if you did not play any creatures. Lord Faraquad for quad. Uh, says okay, he Red does. lock counts as self. All right, so delete. Okay. All right, fixed. Dude, that guy sucks. <laughs> I, I don't get, I don't get it. Jack. Well, you just don't play dudes. No, um, no. So I think last game, even though I would have won anyway. No, you would, you still would have won. No, that's all, that's all yeah. good. So there we so go. So I drew. It's your turn. Uh, then this guy gets plus one at the end of my turn. So you're at seven, dude. Look at you yeah, getting there, Jack. dude. You're getting there. I'm getting there, dude. So what did you play during all that? Regrowth, nature's call. Regrowth and nature's call and flax. Yeah, yeah. And, and growth keeper. keeper. Roy. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Justin says, do not talk crap about Redlock. No, I think Redlock's great if he's established on the board for sure. Yeah, no. If he's if he's already out, but that's think that like he doesn't count himself. Because that'd be OP. That'd be awesome. Hmm. How do I want to do this? Yeah, no effect on the turn you play him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But on, on future turns, he's he's good. How do we want to play this? All right, so I think I'm going to go Brobnar. I'm going Brobnar, dude. Um, let's get Lollop out. Uh, let's get Cowfine out. Let's mm -hmm, get Ganger mm -hmm. Chieftain out. Oh. Uh, which readies him up to fight you. Let's see. Do I do Flaxy into Grovekeeper or do I take out Grovekeeper? Yeah, I'm going to go Cowfine into Grovekeeper. All right, take three damage and do two splash. Two. Yep. yep. It was before the fight, but yeah, it's not splash. It's just. Oh action. yeah, yeah. Yep. Um, and uh, it's your turn, dude. You first to the egg. First to the egg for six. Boop, boop. Look at this. this first is a much to the egg game. for Lyle. Let's do crits for the people. Now we gotta think about some things here. We gotta think about our Ooh. lives. We gotta think about our life. Uh, uh oh, let's see. Got a link from Mortavis for a clock. You have to hold the center button to set the time limit. Interesting. All right. Is I think what we're going to do. Subscribe. We'll have to try this. We'll have to try this. Oh, and it comes in a bag too. Nice. Mortavis. Good find. Hey, what up, Lord? Hey, everyone's in here. All the guys. Do, do, all do, the do, TTRs. Do. All them TTRs. Well, yeah, if, uh, you know, if you're coming in from uh, TTR, I know that Justin and Nate are clarifying that they've never beat this deck. <laughs> this deck has never been beaten by Tabletop Royale. I'll just make that clear, dude. I'm just saying. I'm not. I'm not saying, but I'm kind of saying. Yeah. I'm kind of. I'm kind of saying. Okay. I think we're gonna do shadows. Um, <laughs> Lose pretty bad. Yeah. <laughs> that was. Bad. That's three damage. Okay. Yeah. We're gonna do shadows. We're gonna sucker punch your cow fine. Since it kills it, I get to archive this thing. How much damage does it do? Two or something? Three? Yeah, it does do damage. Hold on. It's, uh, there you go. Two damage, yeah. Deal two damage to enemy creature. If that creature is destroyed by effect, archive. Yep. Did punch. you get the money? Did you get the money? I did get the money. Get that cash, Lyle. I'll get that cash. I'm going to bring out a skeleton key. Um, 
and ooh, that's kind of that's kind of awful. Yeah, that was kind of awful. I don't like it when you kill my creatures. I didn't really think about too hard about what I was doing here. You know, it's you know when you kill when you kill Lyle, sometimes it goes to your head. When I kill, you see red. I do see red. Like Justin when he won the vault tour after I um, beat him. And you know what? I'm gonna do it red. anyway. I'm gonna even though it sucks. I'm gonna return those to your hand. Zip, zip. Lights out. Welcome home. Yeah, come home. I don't like giving you the Ganger Chieftain back, but welcome home, my son. That's my, fine. My boys, welcome home. All right. Boop boop. Yay! My turn. Yep. My turn, yay! Dude, are you? What are you doing on your turn, man? You're just playing all kinds of weird cards. And dude, stuff. don't even worry. Don't even worry about what I'm doing, dude. All right, dude. All don't right. even worry about what mm. I'm doing. Oh God, how can I just, you know? Uh, uh. Uh? Um, uh? I'm gonna go untamed. I'll save the pack to just kill your butt. Oh. Get a Give yourself a chain, dude. Uh, discard this one. Life web <laughs> for a buck. Nice. And Fang House Productions. Fang House Production, you say. I'll lower this to zero. Draw one. Beep boop. Your turn. All right. We're going to do uh, Untamed. We're going to bring out uh, Glimmer. Uh, we're going to Glimmer our regrowth uh -huh. to our hand, right? We're yep. going to regrowth the Flaxia. Wow. I'm gonna bring out the flax. So lucky. I get one for regrowth. I this get two guy. For flaxia. This guy. Get lucky. This guy. What do this you get? Guy. Three for flaxia. And then I'm gonna bring out that. Oh, you got one for the. You didn't take one for the regrowth. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I was like, what? Three for flaxia? What are you doing? And then we got the we got the seed, dude. And he got the seed. How how? We're is gonna that? say check. How convenient. Draw. How convenient is that? For how you? convenient. Boop boop. Look at you getting lucky, butts. Everybody gets one, Lyle. Yeah. Yeah, Justin's hanging out with, with no emotes. You have yeah. our emotes, right? But, uh, but am I going to flex on... I'm gonna flex you can use your Twitch Justin crits, right apparently, now. to get emotes. You can yeah, use your Twitch crits for days or whatever. <laughs> apparently, we have Twitch crits. Um, okay, man. Dang, man. You're just getting ahead of me. I have to do this. All right, let's go Shadows. Shadow. Shadows. Uh, I'm going to throw out a Throwing Stars to go 1-1. One, one. So I gain one because kill yep. him out. Uh, then we'll throw out a red lock. We'll throw out an umbra. Umbra. And that's it, dude. Draw four. Beep, boop. Over to you, you forge. Forge. Here's the key. Nice. Dude, dude. you're flying this game, dude. You're flying. Dude, I'm check, I am. Check. I'm mad, dude. I'm die, die hard. Die hard with dude, a vengeance. this deck. Dude. Lyle, you're experiencing what Justin experienced with this deck. This deck fills you with yeah. hate. It consumes you and makes you win vault tours. Yeah. That's what this deck does. It gives you the power yeah. you need. All right. I think we're just going to do um, uh, Shadows. We're just going to say Swindle. Oh, <laughs> what do you have? Like the same? Did you just copy my deck? <laughs> yeah, dude. Just, yeah, just copies, dude. Copied my deck, dude. All right. Uh, I'm going to draw one and then go boop, boop. Straight baby play. Baby plays, dude. Baby plays four days. All right, man. All right, man. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay, dude. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. What what do I want, dude? What do I want to do here? What 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 do you like, want? I don't want that. Like I don't want that, dude. You know what I mean? What do you want? What do you really really want? Uh, you know, mm, I'm going to play Shadows. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to pull my archive. Uh, <laughs> that's not my archive. That's my discard pile. Oh, you prevented me from forging cuz you're a butt. Yep. Oh, I'm playing Shadows and pulling my archive. Thank you. Computer, archive. Computer. Yeah. Um, okay, I'm going to play Shadows, obviously. Uh, swindle. I'm going to play Heist Knight to steal one. Heist Knight, what is this? I'll steal one for each. Oh, Friendly Thief, yep. Yeah, give me my you stuff you stole. Yep. Um, it's good old-fashioned stealing. I'm going to fight, do two damage here to steal one. And... Then I'm going to throw nothing. I'm actually going to discard Selwyn. Oh. And reap with Redlock. Oh. Um, and then I'll gain one in my turn. Draw one. Gain one for Redlock. Gain one for Redlock, yeah. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight. Beep, boop. Check there. Check at eight. Check at eight. Check at eight. Oh, that's not a say. forge. I hit the wrong button. <laughs> Check at eight. 
Mortivus warns you. You need to use your power wisely, Lyle. Because this deck okay, will make you on. great. Let me see. Let me see what I got here. But don't use it for evil, right, Mortivus? You got to use your power for good. You got to go and dominate the Vault Tour for good, with like Justin did. Mm-hmm. Nate also got beat by this deck, and he went top eight in the sealed. So he had a little bit of hate, but Nate's too nice a guy to let it really consume who he is. Yeah, he doesn't. Yeah, he doesn't let it consume him. He's too nice. He's too nice. Justin's a nice guy too, but I think Nate's just got a little bit more like Christmas spirit. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right. I think we're gonna guy. do logos. We're gonna logos and then take our archive here. <laughs> Justin's like, hmm. <laughs> uh, we are going to throw down. Let's throw down. It brings out the real inner uh, person. Archimedes. Let's throw down some Archimedes. Wait, hold on. Let's not throw the Archimedes right there yet. Yeah. We're going to do memory chip. Lyle actually is more of us. Uh, I think we're going to ZYX researcher, and then we're going to archive Swindle. Let's, let's just do that. Wow. Then let's throw an Archimedes over here. You want to go real, baby. Yeah. We're going, we're going real baby here. I see that. Uh, then we're going to go a uh, Titan Mechanic over here. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. And then we're going to... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We want to do this first. Mega we baby plays last? right now. Let's do, let's do Wild Worm Home now. Gateway. <laughs> okay. Oh, Bonnie Risk Clocks. Steal one, dude. So I can steal two. Oh, you're right. Ah. Wow, dude. Look at that. Dude, luck. Lucky One, two, three, this four, game. Five, six. You still have six. I do. You were so lucky this game. You yeah. Like baby plays flying out of your deck. Baby plays, dude. Then we're gonna neutron shark, uh, and then we're gonna choose. Choose wisely. Um. Let's choose Umbra, and then I'm gonna archive Ronnie Wrist Clock. Oh my gosh, this is baby time. Yeah, and then we're gonna flip, and it's life web. We're gonna do it again. Mm -hmm. We're getting. We're babies. gonna kill. Uh, we're gonna kill Redlock. And we're gonna kill uh, Titan Mechanic. You can leave him out. It gets, dude. I it gets archived. Look at that. Uh, then we're gonna do this, and that's a uh, Knuckles Bolton. We'll do it again. Uh -huh. uh, we're gonna do Fang House and a Neutron Shark. He gets archived. Oof. Um, Choose wisely. That's right. Cool, cool, cool. And I believe that's it, dude. Oh that's wait, true. you know what? We still have the seed. Do we want to do anything with the seed right now? Baby Shark. Do 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 do. It is called a baby shark. That's why it's this is in this deck. It's totally baby shark right now. Hold on, hold on. What can we do here? I should have put Flaxia back. That would have been nice. Nice. I've already got my ticket. Nice, Mortarus. Yeah, Lyle will speak to that. I, I don't know for sure. It's I called baby. His <laughs> body. The next expansion is called baby expansion. Exactly. Just all capture and steal all the time. Okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna do it. Um, that's it. Forge key. I'm going to draw three, you forge a key, Ooh. I go. Baby plays for days. Baby plays for days. Courtesy of Lyle. Well, that would be bad. Um... Uh, so my local group just was talking about it, uh, Depticon. Um, we, are, we are considering it. Um, but it just sucks. You have to, yeah, it's just like packs. You have to buy the badge for Adepticon. And then it's 50 bucks, I think, for the Vault Tour. And it's like, differently from packs, I, Adepticon's not a con I feel like I need to go to. So I would literally be going for the Vault Tour and just feels bad, man, to buy a badge. Why? Is there another, isn't there, is there a schedule yet for 2020? Yeah, there's stuff out. For Vault Tour? There's all kinds of stuff for Vault Tours, I think, right? No, oh, because when I was talking to Yeti Gaming at PAX, they said that they, they didn't even know what the 2020 schedule was going to be. No U.S. schedule. Oh, okay. Yeah. What were all the events people were telling me about next year about then? Are those primes and stuff? Because like, there's something uh, happening maybe just like primes. Albany. I know that there's one that? Vault Tour on Albany in January, and that's the only one I knew of. So this oh. whole Adepticon thing that's been coming out this well, week, I was just like, it's not even on the Yeti or the FFG website. All right, so I'm going to go Untamed because I'm like holding on for dear life here. And I think, uh, yeah. okay, so I'm going to go on. Okay, Morbus says no, no schedule officially. Ah, yeah. I will be playing uh, Glimmer. Glimmer. To bounce. 
super because you played more than three creatures last turn, right? I played a bunch of creatures. Yeah. yeah so I, I, where is the card? Oh, here it is. Three, to play, grab four. my life web. I played six creatures. <laughs> okay, grab my life web. I'm then gonna play soldiers to flowers. So you're gonna get purge two, I think. Uh, I have a grove keeper and a glimmer. So you get two. Yeah. I'm getting I get one. Two. So these get purged on. Am I only getting one? I'm only getting one. Great. Okay. So this gets purged. Uh, so these cards get purged. All right, he's purged. Uh, so I get one for that. Yeah. I got one for the card, one for that. Um, I'm then going to play Life Web. So I steal mm -hmm. two. Yep. Yeah. Um, I'm Look then going you, to man. play Nature's Call to send him to your hand, him to your hand. Um, and I guess I can bounce Glimmer back to my hand. You can, yeah. Bounce Glimmer back to my hand. Yeah. Which I is will then play Glimmer. Move. Yep. And then search and grab my Nature's, or that same, where is it? Wow, look at you, man. Where is it? Where's that freaking card? I just played Oh, you it. can't play Glimmer. It's an alpha. Oh, that's right, 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 right. It's just in your hand. Okay. I won't bounce it then. I'll just leave it. Because it's up to three. That's yeah. right. I forgot it's an alpha. Alpha Omega is lame. Alpha, alpha. I tried yeah. to break it, guys. You guys caught me. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> Savage. All right, I'm done. Tried to break the game. All right, Dusk Witch coming out. Bloop, bloop. Your turn. Check it. One, two, three, five, six. Six, you say. Check it. Six. Boop. Draw four. I tried, yeah. guys. I tried. You got me. I need to think about... You got me. You yes. got me. That would have been a nuts combo, though, right? <laughs> Just keep stealing. Yeah. Ah! How many creatures do you play? This, this is how I beat Justin. I just cheated my way to the win. Huh? I think I only played, played one. No, I played two. Glimmer you played two. Dusquitch. You played two. Okay. Why, do you have a mimicry in that deck? Um. Do you have a mimicry in that deck? What? Right, no, don't, don't, don't worry about me. Don't. You have mimicry? Don't, don't, I don't think don't you have worry. mimicry. I didn't see that. I didn't don't see mimicry. Don't worry about I didn't me. see mimicry right there. 45 um, bucks for the Vault Tour entry. But then you have to get there too, Lyle, right? Adepticon's in Chicago? Yeah, it's in Chicago, yeah. How far is that from Nashville? It's like... Six hour drive. Oh. It's not bad. Um, Let's see. What do I want to do here, Chicago's man? Chicago's cool. Is it downtown Chicago? Like, where is it? Um, I don't know. I don't know where in Chicago it is. Okay, I think we're gonna play Shadows, and we're gonna pull the and pull the old uh, archive. Yeah, here. the old baby plays is happening right now, guys. Six. I think we're gonna play. Uh, we're gonna play an Alpha card first. We're gonna play uh, Sucker Punch on your Dusk Witch, and then I believe this gets archived. You get a buck, and I get a buck. That's right, Uncle Buck. Uh, then we're going to, uh, Ronnie Wrist Clocks, we're going to steal one. Mean. Mean. Uh, then we're going to throw down the Yancey Gang, uh, the Knuckles Bolton, dang, uh, dang, the man. Bad Penny. Bad Penny. Bad Penny. And then we're going to capture, a friendly creature's going to capture one. Fine, dude. Um, fine, fine, you know? Fine, dude. Fine. Fine. We're gonna put in on Knuckles Belton. He's good, yeah, he's good. He's a good one. And uh hold on, we still have this uh seed, dude. Gross. Gross. Uh ooh. Hmm. Maybe we do that. Hold on a sec here, hold on a sec here. No, I don't like that. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. You don't like it a lot? I don't like it. I don't like it a lot. See, guys, yeah. timing rules. We don't feel bad because Lyle's just taking his time. You know, you can take his I'm just time. taking my time. I'm running I my own clock. I can't be mad about it. All right, that's it. Just take his time. Boop, boop. Beep, boop. All right, so I'm going to be going Brobnar. Um, play out Signal Fire. Yeah. Um... It's like this. Let's see. 
Let's get a lollop out. Let's get. Uh, well, Mortibus says it's 45 for the Voltor entry. Sorry, I'm catching up. Chris probably already read all this. Um, Dang it. For not to the big con because I'm in a similar boat. Yeah, Mortibus. So if I do this, I can do that. I really like that team sealed stuff, man. I think it's cool. One right. plays reversal, one plays Archon, one plays Auction. I'm going to play Ganger Chieftain out to ready and fight with... I just wouldn't want to be the one playing Auction. <laughs> Actually, wait. This is still going to happen, but I'm going to yeah. do it in a different order. Okay. Um, I'm going to play Blood Money and put two on Yancey Gang from the common supply. Yep. And they're going to play Ganger Chieftain here to ready him up yep. and fight Dude, Yancey run Gang. run into him. Yeah. So I take, take five. Take five damage. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think you and Logos have a whatever stupid card, but and you haven't played Logos in forever, so I'm sure I'm gonna get something stupid done to me for money. But you're stupid anyway, so stupid. I'm gonna, uh, stupid, stupid. I'm gonna pound and kill these three off. So back to your hand, and they all die. Wow. Two damage and one splash. And I just have to go hard, dude, because you know YOLO. It's the end of the game here. I'm gonna Smith. To wow. Gain one and gain two because I control more creatures than you. Wow, look at you. So I got rich, dude. You Bump did get on. rich. Whoop. Watch them dance. Dance. Um, you can dance if you want to. Magic, um, magic dance. And um, I'll draw six cards. I had exactly six in my draw pile. That's crazy. Okay. Uh, beep, I know beep. you have a card in your hand. Check it. One, two, three, like. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven to you. Okay. Eleven to you. I know you have a card in your deck. Come at me, dude. This is it. This That's going to wreck me. Dude, Smith is great. I was able to make it work. Barely. Because <laughs> he had so many dudes on the board. Uh, if I didn't have my Ganger, I think that would have been interesting. What's single fire? Oh, you can use your dudes. Ganger, Lollop. <sighs> sure can, Lyle. Come on, man. Do Seal I go deal? up to six or do I go up to seven? Seal oh. the deal, Lyle. Seal so here's it. here's here's a pivotal moment here because Seal it. If I go to six, that's good. If I go to seven, you have a card called Burn the Stockpile, and I don't really have a lot of time here. One, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So you have eleven. Um What do I want to do? Do I do it? Do I go to six or do I go to seven? What else do you have that can steal? You have a bunch of stuff that steals. Thanks for the follow, Creative Ronnie Chaos. Welcome to the best camp on Twitch. Good to have you. I think you have a Ronnie in there, too. Welcome to the best camp. It's good to, good to get some follows, guys. We appreciate that. Thanks for the support. Did you just reshuffle your deck? I'm about to. No, I had exactly six. Oh, so you definitely, cream have, you definitely Justin. have it then. You definitely have it in your hand because I haven't seen it. Justin. You definitely have it because I haven't seen it. I mean, um, really, dude? Yeah, I guess you weren't following. You just subbed to us. God, lame, dude. How mean. By the way, guys, we do have the wheel spin um, for subs available using these new Twitch crits on Twitch. So if you yeah. have those Twitch crits you're earning, you can use them to spin the wheel at 10,000 <laughs> Twitch crits because it's a sub 10, bonus. 000? We didn't just want to give it to everybody because it needs to be sort of earned, but you earn like a lot of Twitch crits apparently really quickly, I think, somehow. We haven't figured out our new channel point system since we use stream elements yeah. for all your other rewards and giveaways and stuff. So Okay, we're going to play Shadows. It just unfollows um, people. That's good, Lord. That's, that's good to know. throw away Bad Penny. Uh, we're going to... Oh, you get two times the points if you're sub to the channel. Oh, geez, good thing we didn't even think about that. attack into Ganger Chieftain. We're going to, whoops, we're going to do like three damage on this guy. You sure are. Uh, we're going to reap once with this guy. Oh, my. What are you doing? And then we're going to, just going to capture one on, on Ronnie. Ronnie. Clocks there. So, check at six. Wow, so I forge? You forge, yeah. Forge! Got to the second egg, dude. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh. This hurts. Ooh. I, I, I see Ooh. it slipping away. Ooh. I see it slipping away. Slip, slip, slip away. Yeah. Slipstream, dude. Down the slipstream in the slipstream. Down the slipstream, dude. Okay, what do you have? Flip, flip, flip Fantasia. He dude. has the logos card that I was scared of. You've done things, Lyle. You've done, you've done things. 
things. Man, this is getting... We're getting down to the wire, dude. You oh, I didn't do my clock. Whoops. Oh, that's on that. you, dude. That's on that's you, That's on me. That was on me. That's on you, man. That was on me. Okay, so I'm just going to go Shadows. And I'm going to play Swindle. The, you are a little butt, dude. Swink. I'll steal three since you swindled me, dude. I will flip my deck. I will shuffle my deck. Uh, I will draw one. And then, boop, boop, check at seven. Okay, Shadows, Swindle. <laughs> Let me grab these three. Say check. Boop, oh, boop. I realized what I should have done. Oh, no, I couldn't do that because it's an Alpha Omega, right, with Swindle? Yeah, it's an Alpha Omega, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Dang. Yeah, just Swindle Wars. Swindle Wars, dude. Swindle Wars are so stupid, Swindle Wars. I think, I think you might just have me there, dude, because of that. Because of the double swindle? Because of stupid swindle wars. <laughs> because it's Alpha Omega. Because I don't think there was anything else I could have done. <sighs> when this right. game's over, I want to I want to see that burn the stockpile in your hand. I want to see it. Wait, if it. I'd had... <laughs> oh, wait. No. Oh. In that play, I could have won. I could have won. Because you. I had seven. No, I wouldn't have gained three. If I hadn't swindled you, well, you'd have just forged. Yep. And I couldn't, I couldn't pop this because. No, swindle's an, an omega. Yeah, it's an omega. That's why. So I couldn't. Yep. I, I think you had. Yeah, there. swindle's the only thing you can do if you play swindle. Yeah. Yeah, but I couldn't. I had to capture otherwise because you were at six. I swindled you because you were at six to pull you off the key because you're on your third yep. key. I had to yep. get your amber, and you didn't play any creatures, so. Yep. That's it, man. That's the game, dude. I have to yes! forfeit it. Oh, Lyle gets it barely, dude. Wow, dude. Barely. Lyle flips the key. Stop the clock. Look at that. 20 minutes, two minutes left in Archon. Yeah, it, 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 when you get down here, it gets a little scary. Well, I wasn't scared. We were at the end of the game. You know, I mean, we were at the end but, of the game. Yeah, but, it, but it's at the end of the game, so it's like, all right. And, you know, we took time. We were talking. We were thinking. But okay. GG. Yeah, let me, see, let me see the burn stockpile in your hand, dude. Let me see it. It's not. Oh, really? Yeah, my fang house was purged. Yeah. Uh, it was... You could have just looked at my discard pile, dude. My entire disc... Why didn't you just look at my discard pile? Know what oh, I mean? Oh, you know what? I, I was thinking that your discard pile... Oh, uh, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. You could have looked... I was sitting there going, he's not looking at it. Barely I'm in time. Not, I don't think it was yeah. barely. We still had... I had three minutes. He still had two minutes. Yeah. Like, we're not even rushing our turns, really. That's, yeah. This is the idea with this clocking, is that 20 yeah. minutes for our We still had, we still had 10% of our time. Yeah, it's definitely a ton of time. Two minutes in this game in Archon is yeah. a lot. It should be a lot. I mean, 25 minutes gives you more headroom, you know, but we're still yeah. judging between 20 and 25 minutes. But yeah, I could have, if you played any creatures, life webbed, um, I could have yeah, destroyed stuff. Yeah, I was kind of scared. Of, these life webs are really annoying. But I had against... no way to, I had no way to capture other than life web and that swindle to get, get you off key. That was the problem. Yeah. And my, yeah, if I wish I'd had my burn the stockpile after a reshuffle, but I didn't get it. But this message is important. Oh my God, important. his body. Hi, redeemed highlight a message. <laughs> nice, dude. Way to highlight that, you, dude. So. You, you are the first person to ever highlight a message in our chat. Yeah, congratulations. dude, congratulations, dude. Wow. Yeah, congratulations. Wow. Wow. I think someone the other day, yeah. um, or who was it? Was it, wasn't it? Was it Xbox Mayor was uh, customizing emotes or something? Oh, yeah, yeah. He was the I first one to a, do that. You can put sunglasses like, on your emotes and stuff. I have a custom emote, I think. Yeah, you can put sun... You can do stuff to emotes, apparently, now. So, with those Twitch like, crits... What is the... Like, didn't I just... Twitch didn't games. I have one? Why are oh, we no. playing Twitch I'm, chat games? I'm to do it. I thought it saved them. I guess not. You have to do it every day? Wait, what? Modifying gold single... get it? Crit tank with sunglasses. There it is. Boom. Or is it... Or is it uh, no, you have to unlock dash. it. Is it dash... I just did it. G. But, dude, good game. Good game. Yeah, I think I had a comeback chance there, but I think you got your combo, dude. You're right. Like, the way you beat Nate with that deck. Um, or beat Justin. Uh, no, not Justin. Um, Nate. Oh, no. Justice? No, uh, Eric. Uh, Justice Blinded. Yeah, Justice Blinded. Okay, you beat Justice Blinded with that combo, and that is... Yeah, I beat him with... The, uh, Justin, I couldn't beat because he... I got the combo off, like, twice, and then he disanniated me, and yeah. it felt really bad. <laughs> Well, yeah, um, but this, yeah, this, this combo in here, this neutron shark with your double Archimedes and just building a line and tossing out things like not even just logo stuff, but like your yeah. Ronnie wrist clocks, putting your yeah. shark back in the, in the archive. 
Like that's annoying, dude. Yeah, like, it's, it's like really, really good. good. You can just clear stuff off. You're you're yeah, you're you could throw your glimmer in there, you could throw you could throw a I bunch throw of flaxy in there. Yeah, like... flaxy is really good in there. Yeah, dude, that's just a good combo for building your, your thing up there. Dang, man. Good stuff, good stuff. Dude, I like it. Yeah. So we gotta go into another game, man. We gotta go into another game. It, All right. I, I gotta say, like, I pulled two AOA decks um during that weekend. <laughs> that are the my two now favorite AOA decks. Like, I did not like AOA throughout all of AOA. It was I kept pulling trash, trash, trash. And now it's just like I pulled two decks that I really like. And I'm like, really? Now? Now, like, we're in the middle of Worlds Collide, I, I'm, I'm, I'm finally opening good AOA decks? Yeah. Yeah, I guess this one came same way. Uh, I've been rocking this Lake House Nanny deck that has, uh, like, all this cool stuff that's really fast. I've been trying to make it work. It's not been very successful. But it's really cool AOA. It's actually this deck, I think, is like my highest, if we go by SAS, I, I think yeah. it's uh, my highest deck in my collection. If we want to go by numbers, I'm probably just playing it poorly. Um, I've got a stack over here of decks I just need to run through. Um, I still haven't even tried playing uh, the deck, my third deck from the Vault Tour right. that I, I just knew wouldn't be good. <laughs> yeah. This is just not great. And I think it is I, very yeah. low. Yeah, I, I, um, I played a couple of games of the third deck that I got um, from from the Vault Tour. It was it was the one I didn't even consider because I had Brabnar in it, uh, but it but uh, it actually got rated the highest in my SAS when I registered all of them. Ah. And I'm like, great, like the Brabnar deck, of course it was. Um, <laughs> but I lost pretty handily in two games last night against like not so great decks even. So ah. I was like, okay, I'm... So th if that was the best one I had, <laughs> right, <laughs> and it lost pretty terribly, right. I was like, then all of my decks were pretty bad, yeah. Uh, all right, so uh, hey, dude, I need to take just a quick bio break. I'm dancing yeah, do over it, here dude. since uh, you know, but here's here's your deck. I'll be right back. Yeah, I gotta say, so so this one, after I played it in the in the Crick Camp sealed thing, I made I made Justice Blinded because he's Team Sass. Guess the Sass of the deck, um, so I could I register it and, and see whatever, and he was like. It's definitely, uh, you know, in the 70s somewhere, this deck's really good. You should bring it in the Archon. And then um, and I registered it, and it was like a 63. Um, so, I don't know. Sass is just a number, guys. Justice Mine said that to, to, to my face. He was like, it's just a number. <laughs> a guy from the team. But uh, it just feels really good, this deck, and it moves the way I like decks to move. Um, you know, there's like a lot of... Interesting pulling back from the discard, throwing the archive, all that stuff. But yeah, Desania and anything that sort of ruins the archive stuff um, kills me, dude. It just kills me. But I like all of the different things, all the different tools I have um, outside of Logos. Like uh, the Glimmer and the Seed um, and the Regrowth are really great for getting stuff back. So I can get the Flaxia back. I can get all these other stuff back. The Seed, I can get the Swindle back, which is also really great. I can get the Ronnie Riscox back. Um, but the Logos is really the, like, it's like, the Logos is like the engine, basically, that's helping me, like, cycle through the other utility in this deck. Really annoying. Yeah. Really annoying. But uh, I think that first game, I just have to be faster. It's just, we both have pretty fast decks. I mean, they come we, up as pretty and fast And it's decks. all in, like... It's all in our sort of opening hands, I think. Like, well, if I'm not getting the right set of cards, I can have trash. I can so easily just have a bunch of trash in my hand. Yeah. All right, so um, I get to choose because I lost? Oh, yeah, you get to choose? Um, I'm going to go second, dude. Okay. So, here we go. Here we go. Let's draw up. Let me draw seven here. Um, go in second with this deck, huh? Uh, uh? I'm going first, huh? Um, I'm gonna mulligan this. Oh, I'm supposed to wait for you to say if you're gonna mulligan. Yeah, this. I'm gonna. I'm gonna keep this for now. Yeah, let me keep this. Okay, still mulliganing. <laughs> All right, your turn, dude. All right, my clock. Pop off. Starts. Hit the clock. Doop. Time All right, we're gonna start on. with logos. We're gonna start with the Titan mechanic. Boop, 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 -de boop. Um, okay, I'm going to play Untamed. Um, I'm going to discard, save the pack. I okay. will play my Nepenthe Seed. I will 
uh, nature's call for a buck, and I will persistence hunting for a buck. <laughs> okay. Cool. Sweet. And then I'll draw five. Man, baby, boop, sweet. Boop. Okay. We're going to play Logos. Uh, we'll play You are a man. Medes. Big old man baby deck. That's what you're playing. Uh, Titan exactly Mechanic. Uh, Hexpian. Huge man baby deck. Library Babble. Cutthroat Research for the Amber. <laughs> Just dumping cards. We're gonna ready dude. everybody up. We're going to draw four. No, I wish I'd uh, kept those cards, you know what I mean? And we're going to say it's your turn. You're going to say it's my turn, dude? Yep. You going to tell me it's my turn? Yeah, I'm going to tell you it's your turn, dude. Um, I might go untamed, dude. Yeah, because now you can get value out of your card there. <laughs> Maybe. Um get all that value dude get all that insane insane value i am um i'm gonna go untamed i'm gonna pop the seed to bring back uh, nature's call mm -hmm. i'm gonna play it to bounce your dudes uh soldiers to flowers you don't have anything in your thing right no <laughs> this is all i have yeah and then I'm going to Fang House Productions. Fang House Productions. Draw two. Boop, boop. Your turn. Boop. Uh, Look at that. Look at this. Look at these fun action grinds, dude. Yeah. Uh, we're going to do Logos again. We're going <laughs> to draw a card. wonder what he's going to play. Uh, we're going to play Archimedes. What would you even think about playing? Titan Mechanic. Uh, and should we play the da, 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 da? the what a hada what? Uh, we're gonna put we're gonna put the hex piano over on this side. Okay, you didn't do the what a hada what a what a. Yeah. Hana what a hana what a. Boop boop. Yeah, you could have put this over here if you want. I know. Put this I know. Over here. Okay. I know. I know. Dude. Put this over here. You could put this over here. I I could I could you could take your put face this over here. What? Off face. I thought off. you were gonna say something else. You're gonna, you know, you can take your face. <laughs> <laughs> Check your face off. Right, I'm gonna do untable. Yep. Um, I'm gonna do persistence hunting. Mm hmm. Oh, like so tired. So I'm gonna tired. Fanghouse your Archimedes. So it's a assault three. I take no damage. Yeah. Just do three damage to you. Yeah. Meep, meep. Um, and then I'll check at five in the current board board state. Yeah, check it five. Current board state. Check in. Draw at one. Five. Check it five. Uh, chick, chick, chick. All chick, night. Chick, chick, check it out. Uh, current we're gonna do state. shadows. Current bird state. Yeah. Uh, we're going to uh, run his clocks and steal one. Baby, baby plays. Uh, baby we are plays going to knuckles Bolton. Baby plays. And uh, why not? Let's just throw, let's just throw her out, dude. Just throwing her around. Yeah. Okay. Okay. There it is. We're gonna draw two. And boop boop. My turn. Yep. I will play Shadows. Me. Okay. I'm gonna play out Dust Chronicles. You archive a card. To right. archive a card, cause yeah, I have more than you. Yep. Um, I'm going to archive this card. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Um, I'll then play Hidden Stash to archive this card. Okay. I'll then play Throwing Stars to do one damage. Ugh. Uh, one damage. And I get a buck for destroying Bad Penny. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know, dude. Jeez, man. I don't know, dude. I don't Dude, man. Man. That's man. Big man. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Um... I guess to a damage there. Okay. I'm gonna play out an umbra. Umbra. Shwink. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Check to you, sir. Draw six. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You say. Beep boop to you, sir. Beep boop. Beep boop. Beep boop to you, sir. Uh, there, this is this is a better start for me this time. This is a better start for you. That last start was a savage grind through two keys is what that was called. it was it was savage garden dude savage garden all day through those two keys yo, yo savage garden yo i believe my copies of um 
Sequence arrived. They had it on sale, 10 bucks a copy on Amazon for a game what? Sequence. One, I don't know if anyone's played Sequence. Got one for a gift. Got one because I haven't played it in years. I want to start playing it with my my son. I used to play it with my mom years ago. I was telling Lyle. Nice, nice, nice. Good game. I don't know if it's still ten bucks anymore on Amazon, but it was a good. It's a good gift for people that want something. You know, not a nuts game, but a good game. I'm not. I'm not going to pay over yeah, twenty not, bucks not for it. Yeah, not nuts game, but, but good for game. ten bucks. Ten bucks. Ten dollars. Ten. Ten dollar. Ten dollar. Ten dollar. Dollar dollar bills, y'all. What are you going to do, man? I think we're going to play Untamed. No Baby Shark. Do, do, uh, or do, do we want to do... do we want to do Shadows? Ugh! Where's Baby Shark? I just have to, I have to race Baby Shark. That's what I have to do. I have to... Yeah, we're going to do... Uh, we're going to go Untamed. Um, we're going to bring out a Glimmer. And then so we're going to bring Archimedes back to the hand. Uh, then we're going to bring out a Seed. Somebody's setting up a Baby Shark. Um... We're gonna play uh, Nature's Call and what? Um, to you guys up to three. Um, I'm also gonna bring Ronnie Chris Clocks back to my hand. Oh. oh, 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 and then we're gonna Song of Spring and then shuffle Glimmer back into my deck. Oh, oh, oh. Huh? yeah, huh, 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 and huh. Oh. let's see. And one, two, three, four, five. I draw one. And you go and you forge. One, two, three, four, five, six. Forges the key. Woo! Yeah. First yeah. To the egg. This game, dude. First to the egg. Yeah. Just looking for your discard pile here. Yep. Oh, your nature's called. What did you say? You picked up one of your dudes. Glimmer got shuffled back in my deck. You played Glimmer, put it back in your deck. Otherwise, just baby plays all over the place. Just Otherwise, baby, 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 So you're at four, huh? He's at four, huh? Huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. He's at four, eh? Huh? He's at four, eh? Huh? Huh? He's at four, eh? Four, right? uh, baby shark's coming out, I think, next turn. Do, 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 do. So what do I want to do if you're gonna baby shark next turn? Do 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 do. I think I'm gonna untamed. Mm. Yes. Yes. I will untamed. Do I want untamed? Are you gonna have untamed, dude? Are you gonna fail this city, dude? Yeah, I'm gonna untamed, dude. Okay, I'm gonna throw out okay. a life web for the cash. Okay. Life web for cash. No cash money. Save the pack, kill these two bros. So you are what? this in okay, the top gonna... part of your deck. Get okay. chained up. This what is this? Oop. Destroy archive this guy in the top of my deck. I'm gonna look at it. Um I'm and... then going to Fang House and Duskovich. The Fang House in Duskovich. Duskovich comes out. It... Yeah, okay, Ceviche. And then I'm done. Lose my chain. Whoop. Boop. Draw one card. Beep. Boop. Your turn. Okay. I think. I think we are going to play. Logos. Uh, shadows. Oh, no, baby shark. Do, 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 do. Uh, shadows. Uh, we are going to soccer punch Dusk Witch. I made a buck. Archive it. You're so scared of Dusk Witch, dude. So yeah, scared. Yeah, Dusk Witch, dude. Why play Dusk Witch? Why you uh, we're going to play, uh, whoop, Skelly. Yeah, yeah. Skelly Key. Uh, Ronnie Reese Clock's going to steal one. Wow. Um, just keeps coming. Just keeps coming, dude. And then... Just hitting the ground running. five, huh? Just hitting the ground running. The ground running. Didn't make sense. Not to live for fun. Um, Bring it smart. What do I do here? You know what? I think I'm gonna do it. I think I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna toss bad penne. <gasps> I'm gonna toss bad penne. That's right. You heard me. I'm gonna draw four. Boop boop. What? Not like yeah. this. Not like this. No. 
So you're checking at Not five, like dude. This. I'm you? checking at five, dude. Mm. 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 All right, so I'm gonna play Shadows. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This sucks. Okay, I'm gonna play Shadows. Umbra, Redlock. Um, I'm then going to play life for a life mm -hmm. to sack redlock kill ronnie then going to lights out your titan mechanic mm -hmm. and that's it man so i'll draw okay. five and you will forge at five six six or six you have right. yeah six the titan mechanic up word <laughs> dude word Okay, all right. We got a game, we got though. A game. We got a game here, guys. We got a game. We got a game, dude. We got a game. Uh, Crick Camp, we got we, a game. Listen, Crick Camp, we've got a game. We've got a game. Um, Crick Camp, we got a game here. We've got a game listen, going. We've got, we got a game here. As Lyle tries to set up for Baby Shark. Do, 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 do. Baby Shark. Um, I think we're going to do Shadows. Yeah. Shadows, pull the archive. Uh, where is it? There it is. I'm gonna sucker punch Umbra. Oh, two damage. Get a buck. Or cave. Or cave the curd. Uh, Yancey gang coming out. Oh. Uh, with the ring of invincibility. Invincibility. Yeah, invincibility. And he's also gonna. Whoops. He's also gonna capture one. It's called key. Okay, man. All right. So we're gonna set this guy up. Put him over here. We're gonna do that. And we don't draw, and we say boop, boop. Your turn. Okay. That doesn't do that. Dang, dong, dang. That doesn't do that. Okay, so I'm going to play Brobnar. Oh. I'm going to pull oh, my here archive. We go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Pulling the archive. Here we go, yo. Do I have a piece of insulation on my head? Probably. It's a little bit of... Um, here we go. Here. Yo. Uh, okay. Oh, checking the order of things here. Okay, so I'm going to play out my signal fire. Mm-hmm. For a dollar. Dollar dollar bills, y'all. Um I'm then gonna play out uh a little rap skull. Ooh, everybody fighting. Drummer drummer not. Drummer 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 not. Drummer drummer drummer, drummer not. We gonna spit. Ganger chief dude. We gonna oh. spit for three. Yeah, you're gonna spit some rhymes? Spit some for three. Yeah. Um I'm then going to One, two, three, four, five, six. We know he's got a Ronnie in hand, right? Because he's a butt. Um, I'm going to discard. Let's burn the stockpile. Yo. Yo, yo, yo. And then. Well, we know he's got a Ronnie. And he's got this dude. But he has to fight. So he's not getting fight. steel here. Um, I'm just going to discard pound. All right. Okay. So I will check at six to you, sir. Draw five. Beep, boop. Your turn. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, okay. You must fight. If you able. Must fight. You must fight me. The original rage. The original enrage. He makes you so angry, dude. This little rap skull, dude. Fight? Huh? 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 Um. Huh? Huh? 
We're going to do shadows and pick up the archive. Uh, and then we're going to uh, sucker punch the little rascal and get a buck. So now I can do as I please. Sure, man. You can try. And if we can do what I please, we're going to action and steal one. Uh, then we're going to... Uh, do we want to do that yet? Hold on, hold on. Hold on, 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 hold on. It's actually interesting. It's an interesting. Come on, dude. Thing. You know, well, hey, you know, who am I to rush? You got twelve minutes and yeah, I was four, say. forty like, seconds. I was like, you know, yeah. it's not, it's not my time. You know, that's, that's so great. Who came up with this, this, this clocking idea? You guys should come up with this. this idea. You know, it's like the clock. Such a good idea. Yeah, I'm just gonna capture one on this guy. It's such a good idea. I mean, you guys are brilliant. Just call it, call it a day, dude. Calling it. Calling it a day. Scared, dude. He's sitting on cards. That's all you're doing. Just sitting on cards, dude. Just sitting on the dock of the bay, dude. Wasting time. All right. All right. All right. You're at four. I'm at four. All right. So let's go. I'm going to go. Brobnar. Okay. Well, actually, yeah. If I go Brobnar... No, it's the same result. I'm actually going to go... Uh, 980 Raptors asking why you have seven cards. Or is he asking me? I didn't draw. Are you I asking had me? cards in my hand. I had something bounce to my hand, didn't I? Yeah, I have seven cards. How did I get seven cards? I think, didn't you bounce something to me or something? Mm. I discarded Pound. I played Burn the Stockpile. Yeah, why do I have seven cards? Did I not, did I have, did you bounce something? I was like, I know, I know I had cards because I didn't even draw. Um, I just played a turn, picked up my archive. I don't know why you have seven cards. Huh, pause uh, my clock. Picked up archive did and didn't play everything. Oh, oh, you picked up the archive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I picked up my archive. That's right. Yeah, picked up the archive. Didn't pay anything. Got it. Did I draw, though? Yeah. What up, Creative Chaos? Did I draw? Did I draw a card? I don't know if you did. Did I draw? What up, Creative? Do you guys remember you actually drawing? Well, it is. it is what it is now, so... I don't know if I did. I don't recall. So that. if I win, it's okay. But if Chris wins, it's an asterisk. Yeah, right. <laughs> I don't remember if I. I don't remember if I even. I don't drew. remember. I think this is just the play state. Yeah, I, I don't mean, remember if I even drew. I did. I did play Brobnar last time and pulled my archive. Yes. Yeah, that, that that that's for sure. That definitely happened. Yeah, that definitely happened. And you and you played. I don't know if I drew last turn. And I think you played what? You just the killed my little fire, the drummer knot, the little rap skull. And yeah. you discarded the pound. pound. I discarded pound and burned the stockpile. And burned the stockpile. State your opponent gets to pick a card and shuffle it in. I definitely drew said not tonight. So pick a card from my hand? So I just pick... I pick a random card from your hand? You want to shuffle this up before I pick? No, you just pick one. Well, I don't want to look at it, though. Why? What? What did you do? Why did you throw it over here? Because I didn't want to look at it. And that goes so back he here. just picks a card from my hand and shuffles it back into my deck. Is that what they really say in the tournament rules? I'll I'll do that. Yeah. Tournament, you get anything you want to see the whole hand. No, he gets to look per tournament rules. Oh, okay. Well, he gets to look at the card you're saying, or he gets to look at my entire hand. Hold on, this is confusing now. Yeah, this is confusing. What's the tournament rules? God, I hate tournament rules. Okay. I look at your whole hand. I think this is right. You can pick out what you don't want me to use. This seems a little crazy. Um, life web. Oh, jeez, dude. What? Oh my god, dude. It's a bit crazy. It makes sense though if someone yeah. overdrew. I mean, that's fine. I'm fine with him doing it. Oh wow, enter the fray, dude. Uh, count five. Okay, you don't have the ganger, so that's great. 
but good to know, guys. Good this is know. so annoying because I, I almost want to get rid of this stupid life web. No. Fine. But you didn't play any creatures last turn, so I don't know why. Yeah. I think I'm going to get rid of the life web, which sounds crazy. But, um... So it flips it over? I don't know what card I drew, but... Yeah. I just wasn't paying attention, that back apparently. in, I guess. Yeah, because I didn't even realize I had seven cards. Trust me, I'm if judgy. If both players <laughs> can't agree which card was overdrawn, then opponent gets to look at the hand and pick X to shuffle. However many I drew. That was overdrawn? Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks, creative. No, it's fine. Okay. I appreciate yeah, no, no, no. doing is, it. We're is... doing it right. This feels nuts, but I guess... It's fine. You, you know... That's fine. You shuffled in. Okay, fifth plan says that's a punishment. I don't think I've ever experienced that. That before. is the punishment. <laughs> that is the punishment. That is the punishment. This is the way. This is the way. All right, so I'm going to stay going. Um, what, did I even call a house? You were about to call Brobnar, then you were like then deciding we got... not to. You, I don't think you'd. This is the way. And a warning, oh, says Vader. Says you 3,000 points. 3,000. I get 3,000 warning points. <laughs> this is why we push so hard for people to carry, draw. Warning for both players. <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah, we're trying to get this right. I think I'm more focused on this whole clocking thing than I am actually playing by the rules. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is really bad. Add a rule, forget the rules. Yeah, add a rule. Right? That's, yeah. that's how we do it at the camp. Make a rule, add, add a rule, rule, throw out the rules. rules. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. So I think what I'm going to do... Yeah, and if you add enough rules, guys, you don't have to play with any rules. Yeah. Next level plays, dude. Next level <laughs> <That's> plays. <laughs> level up right there that's how you level up a keyforge guys yeah all right so i'm gonna play untamed which sounds weird but i'm gonna do it i'm gonna go glimmer okay and i will then take out wait what i thought there's life what oh here it is okay that's what i thought okay i'm gonna take out nature's call yep um, I am going to play Nature's Call Boo. to bounce this. Um, I can bounce three other creatures to the hand as well. Uh, 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 no, I'm good. Um, and then I'm just going to reap. Wait, what's that put me at? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I'm at seven. Yeah, you could go Logos if I reap with him, huh? Hmm. I know you've got a Ronnie at seven, steals two, and if I go Logos, I'm just giving you two options at eight. Whatever, I'll read. So you have eight. So I have eight. Um, this is only fight, right? For the management partner, they may fight. So if I pop this, I can't reap, right? Because I'm not no, because House Brodnar. It's not the active house. Right. So done. So you're checking at eight. One. Is what you're saying. Now I'm drawing a real card. Okay, thanks guys though. Appreciate the appreciate the knowledge, man. Keeping it keeping it honest. Three, no. Keeping it honest, dude. Um, I know Chapter 7 of Mando's out tonight. We're not allowed to talk about it because Lyle hasn't watched it yet, though. So yeah. all we can say is this is the way in Baby Yoda. Yeah. No spoilers. <laughs> There's apparently a... Oh, really? There's a clip of the new movie at the end? A spoiler? Or a uh, like a little teaser to make you go out and watch the new Star Wars movie? Look at all the time I had to waste, guys. Look at all the time I wasted cheating. That shows you right there. The new clocking rules prevent cheaters from wasting time. <laughs> you do get a game extension on calling the judge. Yeah, but you would pause the clock. I mean, you would pause the clock on a judge. Like, I say, hey, I'm going to call the judge, and if your opponent's like, all right, and you both hit your, you know, you just pause whoever's turn it is. That's why I was saying with the clocking, if you're pausing the clock and you're calling the judge all the time to give yourself more time and abusing the system, that could be a warning. You know what I mean? So you don't have a don't seed. abuse the system and call it. Don't call Creative Chaos over all the time. He's gonna be like, "Yo, yeah. stop it." You used your seed. Be, I think. It. Let me look at your discard pile. Be, no, bad. So yeah, you used your seed. You used your glimmer. So I think I'm gonna do logos. Um, logos. First thing I'm gonna do is just draw a card, I guess. Let's see what Let's I get. Get. Oh. Are we getting stolen on right now? Yeah, I'm going to pop the seed and get my cutthroat research back. Oh, yeah. All right. Um, and so I'm going to gain one, steal two. One, two. Uh, oh, okay. I'm just going to screen grab this. All right. And then we're going to put out the arc. Baby shark turn? Um, Baby, Baby shark. shark. Uh, we're going to do Titan. Ooh. We do Hex. Currently checked at five. Uh, we are going to play Baby Shark. shark. Do, 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 do. 
Uh, we're going to get rid of your drummer knot and my type mechanic. It's archived. Cool. Flip, 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 Philadelphia. Oh. oh. Flip Philadelphia, dude. Baby Shark just got stopped. Got stopped. Right in his tracks, dude. Didn't even, he couldn't even get going, dude. My go? All right, so I forge. Two, three. Um, so you forge. Four, five, six. Forges the second key. We got there, boys. We got there. We got there. Boop. All right, my clock's going. Creative, if you're a judge, I'd like to hear what you think about uh, clocking rules. Like, if we were to start, because we, we're we in the camp. <laughs> we're in the camp, ironically, to uh, to implement more clocking rules to speed things up. Yeah. Thoughts? 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 Clocks? Thoughts? Thoughts? Clocks? Thoughts? Clock? Thoughts? Thoughts on the clock? 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 Thoughts? Clock? Thoughts? Uh, uh, yes, and some, uh, some clock thoughts. Clock thoughts? Let's see, you're at seven. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Seven. Mm -hmm. Oh. Um... Look at your archive for a sec here. Mm -hmm. Look at mm -hmm. your archive. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. mm. Slow. Yeah. I feel slow. Slower. I feel. I feel slower. Slower. But I don't Whoa. want this to happen again. So I think. I think things need to to stop it all needs to stop I feel slower <sighs> do that it's really um I think I'm going to play untamed because I'm kind of I think I think this sucks <laughs> Uh, I'm going to okay. put Fang House and Archimedes. Yep. And then I'm going to pop Glimmer into Neutron Shark. Okay. And that's it, dude. That's it. So I'm going to forge for six. So you forge at six. All right, dude. Hey, man. It's, uh, the it's key. uh... We we played a game. Anyways, it's, it's there, I think. Amp, we played a game. I I think that combo, that's your deck lives off that combo. I can't let it happen. Yep. I can't True. let him have Baby Shark and Archimedes out at the same time. I love Baby Shark and Archimedes. What can I say? Baby Shark gives you the Archimedes. Do, do, um, do, 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 do. Archimedes. Do, 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 do. Archimedes. Do, 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 do. Archimedes. Archimedes. I think what we're going to do. Archimedes. Do, 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 do. Archimedes. Yes. Do, 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 do. Creative Chaos left. And didn't give us an opinion. I'm sad. Uh, we didn't get an opinion from Creative Chaos, so now I'm sad. Uh, now I'm sad. Yeah. Hold on. What, what do we got here? Come on, man. Uh, Come on, man. Are you scared? Um, what are you scared of? Two. Okay. What are you so scared of, dude? Two. What do I get? I mean, Lyle has eight minutes. He could sit here with the, these time yeah. for eight minutes and just sit here. That's fine. It's fine. I can ice the player, dude. If that's your, if that's the player experience you want, it's fine. Yeah. It's fine, dude. You know, I can't stress on it. You know, you're not in my head icing me, dude. You're not in my head. You're not in my head. <laughs> not in my head. Not in my head. Get out of my head. Get out of my mind. <laughs> Okay, head. we're gonna play. Uh, we're gonna play on Tim. We're going to uh, Glimmer. Uh, we're going to return Baby Shark. Do, seed. Do, 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 do. Oh, we're gonna have that to seed. Baby shark. Do 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 to get Baby Shark. Uh, we're gonna play there everywhere to do two damage to your Fang House. Ow. Uh, we're gonna play Life Web, the Ambler, and uh, they're everywhere. Just is your however friendly creatures, right? Oh no! Yeah. Deal two to each enemy flank creature. Doing one. Yeah, enemy flank, and then we're gonna discard soldiers flowers. Oh! Get that out of my hand, dude. Get it wow. out. Wow! And we're gonna draw up. Wow! Let's see your turn. Beep boop. Yep. Okay, man. I'm gonna go shadow. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm gonna play heist knight. <laughs> okay. 
Um, then going to play Furtive Investors. So I gain okay. one plus two for each key. Okay. Damn, dude. All right, value. Value town. Furtive Investors. Sell one defense. Everyone has more. I did that right, right? Yes. Then sell one, one defense. One. Okay. I don't know why I have that card. Sell one in defense. This card like is kind of just doesn't work with this deck because I don't have any capture. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't think I have any capture at all in this deck. All right. Um, and then that's it. I'll draw three. Beep boop. Over to you, dude. Beep boop. Okay. I think we're going to do uh, shadows and we're going to pull archive. Are we swindling? What's going on? Uh, we are going to sucker punch your fang house. Oh. Get a buck. This gets archived. What a sucker. Yeah, what a sucker. Uh, we're going to lights out your cell win. Welcome home. Yeah. We're going to bring out uh, an Umbra. Umbra. We're going to bring out a uh, Yancey Gang. And we're going to make the Yancey Gang capture the one. Umbra. All right. Interesting. Yeah. I'm going to draw two and hope that we get some good. Beep. Boop, boop. Beep, beep, pop. Beep, boop. Beep, boop, pop. Boop, okay. boop, 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 boop. How can I? Okay. Okay. Um. Wham. Wham, 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 wham. Wham. Last Christmas. Last Christmas, you gave me my heart. <laughs> 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 All right, it's Brobnar time. Brobnar. All right. Um, doing calculations. Stand by. Beep, boop, 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 beep, 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 boop, 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 beep. Yes. Kablam! Cow fine. All right. Um, kablam! Into the fray. Bloop. On him for the remainder of the turn. Friendly Brobnar, you fight right at this creature. Yep. Whoop. Um, Ganger Chieftain, here. Boop, Bob. Mm -hmm. Ready. Bloop. Yep. Fight here. Be doop. Okay. So before fight, these die. Then this dies. Then that uh, archives. And this dies, and this gets archived. And yeah. the top card of my deck gets archived. Oh, in that I'm case, that. hold up, hold up. Before fight, those two guys died, right? Yeah. Okay. okay. Cool, cool, cool. No, carry on, carry on. You're good. I okay. took two so damage. Then, yeah. So it's good. yeah. Okay. Scooty over. Yeah, come on over, dude. Come on over. Come over here. Come over here. Come into right in this little area here. This is your little home now. So he's ready, mm -hmm. and he's ready to fight. So he's gonna fight you again. So okay. just dead. He did this and this does, and you die. You die too. You do too. Dude. Now we're gonna play some games. Mm -hmm. uh, let's play Brobnar. So whoop. You're, you're still playing Brobnar. So, so he was one. This is one. Yeah. Back to my hand. So we have to keep track now. Okay. So that was one on Ganger Chieftain. This would be... Two on Ganger, Ganger Chieftain. Two. This is two. two. Yep. Right? So then... Yep. Three. 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 Four. 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 Five. 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 Then six. Six. And he goes back to your hand. And he goes back to my hand, right? And I can't play him now, right? Because I'd have to use him again. Lollop's coming out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can discard him, though, right? Yeah, you can discard uh, That's no. not a use. Well. Is that a use? Discarding? A use of a card? A discard is not considered a use of a card, right? I don't think so. Right? Is discard considered a use? People in chat? People in chat? Anybody want to uh, get in on this? You can discard. Okay, okay not cool. tonight, says... Uh... Boom, he's discarded. Okay. No. Okay. Cool, confirmed. Discard is not considered a use of a card. Just want to confirm. One, two, three, because I cheat all the time. All right, okay. boom. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll draw four. I only drew three, so I have to flip. Shovel. Okay, hold on. I got here, my... draw one more. Go look at six. my discard. Boop, boop, less than a minute. Check to you at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Check. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, check. This card is always an option, says Fifth Planet. Always. Let's, let's look here. Let's, let's make sure go. that. They're all, okay. Uh, shadows. Swindle. Swindle. <laughs> I mean, I know you have one, so this is kind of like a. I have what? A swindle in your deck. So there you go. Boop, boop. You're up. Less than a minute to go. I have less than a minute to go. <laughs> yeah. Swindle. What do you do? Swindle. <laughs> swindle v swindle, dude. All right. Swindle v swindle. Okay, so there we go. And check to you. Check it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I eight. draw one. Okay. Uh, we're going to do shadows. Uh, we're going to pop this seed. Really, we're dude? We're going to grab... Swindle? You can't. No, because that, that's an Alpha Omega. Sure I'm is. I'm going to grab uh, Ronnie Ronnie. Wrist Clocks and play Ronnie Wrist Clocks. Yeah, yeah. So you take two. So I take two. And you have six. I have and I'm gonna six. skeleton key. Oh. 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 Over here. Uh oh. 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 And that's it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Check. Oh. I'm gonna play oh, seven. Brobnar. Blood money. Put two on you here. Um, I'm gonna play Burn the Stockpile. Oh you got it. Get so wrecked, I dude. Lose four? Let me finish this turn here. Yeah, you lose four. So burn the stockpile. You know, and then I'm going to put Drummer Knot into your Ronnie Wrist Clocks. And I have 10 seconds left. And I'll reap in my turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, Draw seven, two. eight, nine. Check it, nine. Okay, and now I have five minutes to... Actually, I have to... I, I would have to reap with him and then fought with him but did i fight with him and then i would have had to i would have reaped with him fought with him brought him back to my hand and put him back out oh, i'm sorry you're gonna think about this while your clock stops no, i'm just what... saying what i did could have been done <laughs> i was just rushing because of the, the order but i should have damage right i should have two damage there okay i could have still done what i did is what i'm saying one two three four five six seven eight nine okay and four seconds I think... with all this madness that's going on i think those were all the answers i had um, you could miasma me and then go to my turn and see if I can do anything in four seconds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just, just think. Just... Wow. I think this might be it. Yeah, um, man. I think this might be it. Look at that. Using my full 20 minutes to the yeah. max. And that was me asking stupid questions. <laughs> hmm. Messing up. You know, I'm just not perfect, you know? I'm not perfect. Just human, man. Just human, you know? Can Lyle beat me with four seconds left on my clock? Four! Four seconds! Four, four, four! Lyle currently has four minutes. I don't think he can beat you. You have four minutes to think uh, it over, dude. I think the best thing I can do is call Logos and, and then draw into something. But even then... I don't think I have. Uh, I'm going to pull my arc up too. So there we go. I'm going to draw. <laughs> I'm going to play Memory Jep. That, that was helpful. Nice. Um, and then we're going to play uh, ZYX Researcher. <laughs> Archive Ronnie Wrist Clocks. Oh. <laughs> Would have been nice to get that, uh, to do that earlier. Uh, and then we're going to. I'm going to have a little hex in. Give me a little time mechanic on this side, time mechanic on this side, and we're gonna put a little rocket boots <laughs> on this side. <laughs> and uh, then we'll be yeah. shot. Oh, you're gonna make my keys cost less just for YOLO? Yeah, keys cost less. So I'm gonna draw two and then boom, boom. Forge the key. Forge. Do I have to flip it for four seconds? I, yeah. yeah. Four <laughs> yes. Yeah. Dude. Oh, yes, I knew that win. you had the swindle. I was hoping you didn't have burn. Um, At the clock! Yeah. It's a burn stockpile, man. Yes! That was rough. That yeah, was get, really being rough. able to cycle into it, dude. Being able because to I was thinking to myself, like, I have two turns in a row where I can steal three, right? Um, I can do the swindle turn, and then I can do the, the seed into Ronnie with the skeleton key, right? So I was like, I was like, as long as, in my head, I was like, as long as he doesn't have burn in the stockpile, I'm gonna be okay. And then you, and then you had it. You could swindle and then burn. Yeah. And it hurts. It's like, 
you can't you can't bounce back from like that many well i knew things. i knew you were going to try to swindle battle me and that's what we were going to yeah. get into is swindle yeah, yeah, battle yeah. at the end yeah, of the game we're again. just we're just saving them yeah but i knew that's why i discarded my uh that's why i discarded uh that one dude after before this one that bromnar turn oh it already cycled yeah. but i discarded um ganger chieftain because i chieftain. wanted so one more yeah so i yeah. had one more chance at it uh so I was like, I can do this right, please. Yeah. <laughs> and I think it might have been the reason I won because I managed to get the stockpile back. But yes, dude. Woo! Yeah. Ooh, Championship deck. Rings. Oh, and right oh, there. Oh, regrowth would be good. <laughs> been helpful. Yeah. Been, been something. But the uh, the fact that uh, I went to zero on my clock there, yeah, a lot of it was... minutes over here. I think I think 20 minutes it's good, good. For, dude i was i was stopping for stupid reasons and messing up and asking questions oh, about yeah, rules yeah, yeah. and you know if the, if it was an actual rules question in a competitive format we would have paused we it. would have, we would have paused the clock and judge gone to judge for, yeah. yeah we would have gone yeah. to judge but uh ggs man ggs dude but ggs and this is actually good for us you know just stream wise to keep yeah. us on on task a little bit yeah um so yeah i think it works out i mean i want i want everybody you know to if you can Try play it. around with clocks and let us know what you think about you know twenty minutes per Dude, or play with clocks. <laughs> so you sound like a, you sound like a like a, fo a a fourth grade math teacher. Guys, yeah, play with clocks. Clocks Guys, are fun. Play with clocks, okay? And just remember, <laughs> buy clocks. The long hand is the minute hand, and it moves more than the hour hand. <laughs> buy clocks, guys. Clocks. Clocks are the new hype. Clocks are the new yeah. new tabletop game, dude. Play yeah. with time. New tabletop time. game called Clocks. Um, <laughs> you just change you the just, Yeah, you just hit clocks, dude. <laughs> you just boop, 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 boop. <laughs> There's a great mod out here called the Clocks. And thank you so much for Clocks, he, guys. He I don't threw know us if you guys know about it it's called Clocks. Um, so yeah, try it in tabletop sim. Uh, right now, you can, it's not something that it's. Like, I want to state. Uh, here's the winning deck, guys. Here's the winning. This is only lost once ever, right there, Lyle. You were the only person that's beat this deck, and it was a close oh, game. Oh, look at that, guys! Yeah, only one. Otherwise, this one. This is including the wins from our thing, right? So two. Did I win three games or two games at our sealed? Would it be? Was it three rounds that I had to win? Yeah, I think you won. All right, so won. there should be one more win here. So it's five and one this deck. <laughs> so maybe I'll play with this some more. But we played some AOA stuff. Uh, does pretty good your deck's fun too dude that that baby shark i just had to deal with the archimedes and you have a cool yeah. you can archive away things with your ronnie's and all that good stuff but yep. um this deck's great for comeback with the brobnar and uh that cycle i was able to get that turn going clear your board and then get the drummer knot ganger chieftain thing going which is like really nice in this deck as a cool combo um yep. so some fun totally. mid 60s decks we played here some 60s sas decks if you want to go by that um from the aoas but yeah that was a lot of fun man um uh, I do want to show, like, I do want to try this one more time. So uh, I think it was Mortavis that passed us a link for um, another clock to check out uh, from the workshop. Gizmo's Chess Clock Timer. Let's see if I can pull this one in. Uh, I believe it's this. Let's see okay. if we can spawn it in. Okay, so here's the clock. Oh, look at this. I'm just going to move our stuff out of the way. So, and, and this is courtesy of who? This is courtesy of Mortavis finding a link. This is a tabletop sim mod. Okay. Additive load. Mortavis, is what thank want. you so much. I think this will work too. I just want to pull in this clock. I don't want to pull in the bag. Ooh. He was yeah. saying to set the time, you have to hold this middle button. Okay. You hold the center button. It's not doing anything. Or do I have to do additive load like Stavator said? Oh, oh, you well, changed. Yeah, what, what, yeah, it's like, oh, it's like, it's blinking. It's, a, it's oh. like you're setting a real clock, dude. Oh, what the heck? Oh, what? What is this? d days what okay okay so oh so i hit the God. button or i hold you the button right click this is just a matter of learning the thing i think yeah no you can't you have to hold the button oh it's like setting a clock and then it's okay so if i wanted to give you 20 minutes this is le yeah this is legit like like setting a real clock yeah. oh and i put it for both of us nice okay okay now i hold the hold the button and it'll stop yes okay yes so oh if i hit God, this it button is, it, it's like setting your microwave nice dude. look at that and then you hit this button yes oh, yes we did it guys clocks, Woo! Clocks. <laughs> guys clocks clocks are amazing clocks, you guys clocks. play with clocks guys clocks so clocks, clocks. how do you Double pause clocks. this one though do i hit this oh nice dude pause you hit the middle button to pause nice. it and then i bet if you hold this resets it resets yeah, and you hit it again or you just hold it down again and, then you have, and yeah. you're back to normal dude this is like old school yeah nice and I long think long holding in buttons reset. No, just yeah, middle of it. Thank you so much, Mortavis. Thank old you. School long. So hold. once again, guys, this this mod, maybe this will be what we use next time. It's called the Gizmos Chess Clock Timer. If you go search in the uh, Steam Workshop for Tabletop Simulator, Gizmos Chess Clock Timer. You can either 
you can pop it in a couple different ways. Like Stevator said, you can additive load. I believe will pop in everything from the mod. Or you can hit this expand button. And you do this with some of Sky Jedi's mods. And you just click the thing you want. You can pop, you just click the custom model and it'll drop a clock into your game. Um, then just put it over uh, where you want it in your gameplay screen. Like we use these today, which work fine too. You can totally use the clocks built into Tabletop yep. Simulator. Yep. Um, I think we'll pop it over here. I don't, I like the look of the other ones better. Like the I display. like the of this one. Yeah, this one's but, like, <laughs> it's like a little 1980s, but... It works. Yeah. It's like a, you know, an analog chess yeah. timer and we can go back and forth with the buttons, you know, and that kind of thing and yeah. uh, hit this button to pause it. Uh, it's exactly what we need. So that's pretty cool. You can even change the color to a Kirk Camp approved color. Oh yeah. We'll have to do that when we, uh, yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Well, I tried to, I tried to change the color tint here, but it didn't really work. Apply. There, oh, red. there it is. <laughs> you can just make it bright um, red. <laughs> and then let's, uh, can yeah, we, we, and you can increase the size with your plus minus buttons. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, um, uh, let's, let's decrease that a little yeah, bit. Yeah. So that it fits your thing, but there you go, guys. Thank you so much. Yeah. There you go. So, uh, the timing I think, uh, works out pretty good with yeah. everything we've been doing. We learned some stuff. We played with some rules. We played some old AOA decks. We ran into some custom old school weird erratas today. Um, but definitely let us know. Try playing your games with the timers, guys, like Lyle said. Uh, let us know what you think. Hop in the Discord, discord.gg slash crickcamp, and uh, discuss it with us. See if you found any problems. I think one of the biggest hitches we ran into there was like a misplay rule-wise. Yep. And if you get too far along and now a lot of time has passed, yeah, the argument of oh, we didn't notice it until it was like a minute if you're taking that long on your turn. Yeah. My opponent messed up. I realized he'd messed that up about over a minute ago and you've now paused yeah. the clock. Does the judge get to come over and reset the timer? Yeah. Or do you say, well, you should have you should have caught, caught it when, it. when yeah. active player was doing it? Um, there's where I could see some arguments coming in against the chess. But I think that's literally the biggest hiccup we hit yeah. um, with these with these things. We'll just be like rules arguments. I don't think there's any sort yeah. of argument against you run out of time, you lose. That's it. I almost yeah. ran out of time there. You know, if you'd if you'd miasmed me or something, or stolen like or burned me down, like or I know, I need one me. more set of stall. Yeah, if you'd done that, I would have just had to because I wasted so much time on my turn. I mean, uh, granted, again, we're streaming and we're talking and we're taking. I would have been in the yeah. game the entire time at a competitive event. Yeah. Um, I think you know, if you get down to that less time, it's still on me. It's still on yeah, me because I took that yeah. much time to get to that point, and now you're like miasma, and I'm like ah beep beep. <laughs> and then you're yeah. like okay uh doorstep i'm like ah <laughs> like i have to yeah i have to know what i'm gonna do right i better not be sitting there going reap to this bounce reap yeah. bounce 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 if, if your deck does that be prepared to account for that time in your deck yeah. know your tool like richard garfield says yeah no yeah know your tool and that would be a, that would be a strategy like i could be playing less effectively on my side but making my turn so fast not giving you time to think about your your turns you know and that's fine you do yep. with your time what you do, and you force me to do with my time what I do with my time, right? Yeah. Um, yep. It's throwing your opponent off. It's kind of icing your player. It's it's just like people – I think it's a better player experience of utilizing time as a resource doing this than yeah. sharing a 45-minute timer. Yeah. Well, the, yeah. I mean the thing is in the regular rules, you don't – you are not in control of time, right? Time just happens to you. Right. When you're doing the chess clock thing, you are now proactive in your own time. Um, so, so you decide whether you're going to go fast or slow. Um, yeah. and that feels a lot better overall because you can't be mad about time because you are the one that had complete control over your own time. Right. Right. Yeah. So I think, I think that's totally fair. I think it's a, I think it's a perfectly good thing. I'm just throwing clocks around now. Um, <laughs> throwing clocks there. Yeah. Remember I'm doing this so I don't clock forget to stop do us, baby. Um, but yeah, I think, it, I think it's a, I think the clock thing is something to do. Try it in your games, uh, try it at your local tournaments, your FLGSs, that kind of thing. Um, I think it's a, it's a perfectly valid, uh, implementation that would make a lot of stuff more fun for player experience down to tiebreakers, down to speed yep. of tournaments in general, just improving player experience. Um, and, uh, just all around just imp improve. I think it would improve a lot of things. And I'm sure I would love to hear from FFG on, you know, what they think about it. You know, I'd love to hear if they, if there's something we're not thinking of that would be, or Yeti even who's running these events. Yeah. Like maybe there's something, you know, we're not accounting for. Right. Yeah. 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 You know, I mean, and they, they could speak to that and I'd love to hear that. I'd love to hear that. So if you guys know anyone there, it was great to see some judges come in. I'm, I'm bummed that uh, I think, I think creative chaos does some judging. It sounded like he was in there and that, but he bounced out before we could get like an opinion from him as a judge like mm -hmm. if this maybe is a is a headache for them or would just add some more stress to them. 
You know what I mean? Um, yeah. Asmati judges. Oh, well, yeah. Asmati is, is. I think Asmati just full judges. Of, full everybody. of judgment. <laughs> I think he just judges everybody. <laughs> um, yeah. I think I think there's some good stuff today. I think we learned some good stuff. We had some fun playing the decks, uh, and uh, I wish everyone oh, luck. Oh, he's highlighted. <laughs> I'm judging you I'm right judging now. You right I know. Now. I know. So tomorrow, um, yeah, I'm not sure 100 percent what we'll be doing. Like I said, I started dipping into the Armello recommendation that some people sent our way in terms of just getting more. We've been trying to you know not just be like Key Forge Zombicide, Key Forge Zombicide, new game. Key Forge Zombicide, yeah. Key Forge Zombicide, Key Forge Zombicide, new game. <laughs> like yeah, I want it yeah. to be sort of like you know we want to get our 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 stuff back up uh more and more uh as we move forward so tomorrow will be something uh different something else um maybe our mellow maybe lyle will take a look at it too I, it just it just seems like a game that's uh very video gamey like almost like you and i need to go through the tutorial off air uh, okay and then jump into it and mm. if people haven't played it yet it might be more explaining what we're doing in our turns i know a lot of people have played it and we're of course behind the times on games like that but yeah, sure. Um, you know, I, I think streaming the uh, tutorial of it wouldn't be very fun. And maybe someone that's played it can speak to that and just be like, nah, you can explain it to people, kind of what's going on. Mm -hmm. um, and then we can see what the deal is and try it out. I don't know. The dealio? Yeah. Otherwise, come join us tomorrow, 11 a.m. Eastern time. Don't forget, I'll promote it one more time before we take off. Come join us next Thursday, December 26th for the 2019 Christmas special. Oh, oh. It's going to be fun. Ooh. So it's always fun every year. We're just kind of celebrating Christmas, Christmas holiday. Get your Christmas shirts on uh, Amazon now. Get your Christmas shirts on Amazon now. Lyle, anything else before we sign off here? Uh, no, that's it, man. Cool. Uh, some some good some good games again, Jeez. guys. We played these AOA decks, crushing Team Sass with it, crushing Tabletop Royale with them. Wow. Yeah. Just clip it, <laughs> clip it, send it to Justin and Nate right now. Clip it. <laughs> clip Lyle saying that. Wasn't yeah, me. yeah, yeah, and, um, me. and 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 quickly show 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 the picture of the of, of the crew where we played this where we played this right here. Yeah, there's the great camp. That's Slash right. Ismati wasn't was yeah, here, Ismati, but he's not here. Who, who, he ducked uh, out. He ducked out. On was away. He's here. He's picture. here in spirit. He was over behind the camera. Or he took yeah, the picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think he took he's the cheering picture. Cheering us on. <laughs> yeah. Good. Thanks. Thanks for the drink. Great games today. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you guys for the knowledge and making sure we're playing as honestly as we can and keeping it uh, knowledge you know, helpful for everyone. But we hope it helps. Try it out. Rock and roll. Got to start the music again. <laughs> Peace, yep. good gaming, everyone. Peace, good gaming. Bye. Bye. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.